What captain material is true on ground final today? He's in the Simpson huddle. Rose of the year. He's run out. He's yes. the clanger of the day. <laughs> clanger of the day. Drew's just stuck. Emily. Tucked in there. premium group painting <laughs> clanger of the day. <laughs> I'll take ships, all right. Talk about bandwagon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take a break, <laughs> see if now... Like, who's driving that ute? Because it's going to crash into the whole town of Simpson in a minute. It's, it's probably Drew, the way yeah. he took off out there on the ground. All right, we're back after this to preview the big one. It is LV versus the Colac Imperials. There's something that just gives me a lot of joy when the Cats and the Swans play off in a grand final. So stay tuned here on Mix FM. Oh, he's back. Yeah. <laughs> on Mix FM, this is CDFNL Live. The Ball and Chain at Home in Simpson for over 50 years. They can cater for your next function, from a birthday to an engagement or just a small family get-together. Just make sure you book early to avoid disappointment. The Ball and Chain, open every Wednesday to Sunday. Search Ball and Chain Simpson on Facebook. Concrete is the foundation of your construction. That's why you should only trust the experts. And there's no team more sturdy than the experts at Kelly Civil Constructions. Born with a passion for the industry and built on resilience, they're a family-owned and operated business. With unmatched quality and quick turnaround, they deliver local knowledge with national experience. For all formwork and concreting, reach out to the experts at Kelly Civil Constructions today. Find them on Facebook, Kelly Civil Construction. To be a traveller comes with great responsibility. The responsibility to choose from a huge range of new and used campers, caravans, pop tops and motorhomes. Prestige Jayco Geelong will guide and assist and make sure you hit the road with the best choice. Some 2022 models available for immediate delivery. Free no obligation quotes from Jayco Finance and Jayco Insurance available. Plus a spare parts and caravan accessory store on site for all your caravan needs. Prestige Jayco Geelong. Ballerine Highway. Open seven days a week. Birragurra General Store would like to wish the Beery footballers and netballers good luck in the grand final this week. Well done on a successful year. Birragurra General Store, proud sponsors of the Birragurra Football Netball Club. Up the guzz. Harvey Norman's LG Super Deals. Five days only. Race in for super savings on LG appliances. Plus, get 10% of your purchase price in Harvey Norman gift cards. Super Deals on LG fridges, washers, dryers and vacuums. Plus, get 10% of your purchase price in gift cards. Super savings on LG TVs, soundbars and more. Plus, get 10% of your purchase price in Harvey Norman gift cards. Don't miss out. LG Super Deals ends Monday at Harvey Norman. Conditions and exclusions apply. Apollo Bay Bakery, the family-owned and operated bakery on the Great Ocean Road in Apollo Bay. Open seven days a week and home of the famous scallop pie on the Great Ocean Road. ApolloBayBakery.com.au The spot to stop, freshen up, stock up and relax before you head to Tassie. The Norlane Hotel, the perfect place to drop in before you board the ferry. With the bistro open from 11.30am until 8.30pm, it's the ideal venue for any pre-travel occasion. Enjoy spacious dining, excellent value meals, children's play area, sports bar and plenty of parking. The perfect all-round venue with something for everyone. Open seven days a week from 9am. The Norlane Hotel, Princess Highway, Norlane. Powered by KFC Colac, AKD Softwoods, Sports Power and Kelly Civil Construction. This is CDFNL Live. Yeah, welcome back to the Central Reserve. We are just under 10, nearly 10, 15 minutes away from the 2023 CDFNL Grand Final between LV and the Colac Imperials. The reserve game has just finished. And it was a three-point win to Simpson, 4-7-31 to 4-4-28. For whatever reason, boys, Simpson just always had the measure of Lawn in the reserve grand final three, years gone by. Three yep. reserve premierships in a decade, all against Lawn. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. And uh, a couple of them had controversial finishes, yep. haven't they? Yeah, I know as well. It's either free kick for too many in the square, which is what's your worst possible time yeah, of your free kick. 15 seconds It to was go. because you nicked off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drew's <laughs> been I, out. I, and I was watching through the, wi- uh, the window because I had to duck out to, the, to do a pit stop. So it was, um, yeah, it was too much information. I'm, <laughs> so, I'm surprised you're not out there collecting the cup the way you took oh, off yeah, out. No, I I know, he, he was here, so I had to help him. So I had to be keeping on. I'll tell you one thing, though, about these... Wonderful social rooms here at, at the Centre Reserve. There's only one toilet. Yeah. On a day like today, you need multiple toilets up here. So maybe I agree. Re, when you rebuild it, a couple of extra toilets would be uh, pretty uh, happy for the patrons. Because yeah. well, so, then you got a room. Get more, they'll get more money here soon, won't they, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Big hey, H in the boundary, mate. Uh, beautiful day for football, mate. Perfect. Yeah, it is perfect, boys. I'm just out on the ground. There's a little bit of wind around still, so... 
What way? What way is the wind? Which way is the wind going? Yeah, uh, it's yeah. going every way, really. So. <laughs> I, I reckon I was, out there, so. I was out there early, and I think it's blowing more across the ground. Would that be right, right. there, Big H? Yeah, Do the right. Matthew Lloyd, Big H. Give, give us the right answer. Is there any grass on this ground? <laughs> yeah, there's not <laughs> a lot. I'll check with the council if you can yeah, do that. It's, it's lucky Jimmy Twakes is here, because he gave him the cancel an absolute bake last year for the ground. And, and, um, At least it looks green this year. Yeah, that's true. But um, yeah, looking Just forward. Just throw a bit of sand in the air, H. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely going across, but uh, it's picked up a bit too, boys. So. Yeah. This is the sixth grand final meeting between these two clubs, of course. We uh, met and Imps lead the measure three to two, and this is both sides. Their 22nd grand mm. final appearance as well. 12 wins and nine losses, of course, as well. But they played in their first grand final in 1945 when they won 1964, the Carlock Imperials, that is, to LV7648. Then they met four years later, it was the Carlock Imperials again. They won by 17 points over LV. Then in 1962, LV got the job done, 7951 to 4529 over the Imps. And then a couple of years later, Imps got a little bit of payback, 6440 to 4832. And in 1977, it was a two-point win to Alvey, 11-6-72 to 10-10-70 in 1977. As Dom Dare and Lockie Rosevier lead the Swans onto the ground here at the moment. And Any of the clubs get North Melbourne to, uh, make, their to make their banners not, this year? Not, not today, know. I don't think. That was pretty epic by South Colac last year. Well, but the Alvey Swans, uh, that was a nice little banner they there made on the ground. Yeah, yeah no, they've done 22 a good years there. in the making. Lockie yep. Rosevier, this, uh, I think Lockie Rosevier, Clay Jenkins are wearing the, the long sleeves today. Yeah. I don't think they're going to change anything because it's 22 degrees. Stuff changed. No, well, don't Sean you? Smart, who was a traditional Sammy long Parker. sleeve, he's the captain of the long sleeve gang, Sean <laughs> Smart. And one Easter Saturday, he did go on the short sleeve, didn't he? He has a rule that's <laughs> 26 degrees or above, it's the short sleeves. So. I yeah. guess, though, again, you want this day to be as normal as possible. If you wear a long sleeve, you wear it on a, a day like today, but you're going to be pretty odd, I reckon. Yep. Yeah, uh, Luke Kens has just been named best on grand in the reserves. Grand final for that uh, Simpsons three-point win there. Former just, you know, league best yeah, in yeah, That's right. Yeah. 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 yeah, of course, as well. Of course, played involved in the premiership, I think, at Cobden Reserves about 10 years ago. Yeah. So there you go there as well. Uh, other leagues happening happenings around the leagues this afternoon because the Bellarine played last week. Congratulations to Torquay. On a well-deserved premiership, of course, uh, red hot favourites in the game 12 months ago, and they went and she got the job. And it was a ripping first three quarters. I actually, watched the replay Sunday night. It was a ripping first three quarters, and then Torquay put the foot down in the last quarter to round out big winners there. GDFL Grand Final today as well between Thompson and Inverley. Inverley trying to in a 31-year premiership drought. Well, Thompson a bit of colour, a bit of CDFNL. Yep. Jeans involved. Lynch Paul Lynch's Lynch. coach and Steve Seligen, of course. Salajan. Salajan yeah. or whatever you want. Yeah, like a, a ripping bloke. So I wish him all the best. Like involved in the team of the year as well. So big moment for now. I think Thompson best. missed the finals last year. So yeah, they've come best on. CDFNL defender I've ever seen. Yeah, look, he had a knee Rico uh, in his time at Birragara. Yeah, he had a set him back a bit. But yeah, he's a good player. I ran it all over the summer. And he did a fair bit of swimming. He had a fair bit of trouble with his back too. So, oh, okay. um, yeah, look, obviously there as well. But I wish him all the best today. And in the Hamden League, preliminary finals will be played at the Reed Oval. And matters of fact, it just started between North Warrnambool and Terang Mortlake. Of course, the winner to take on South Warrnambool in next Saturday's grand final. That's also to be played at the Reed Oval. And that game is currently in progress at the moment. Uh, thanks to Think Water Colour. We've always been a great sponsor of ours throughout the course of this year. And they lead 2 4 16 North Warrnambool. Lead Terang Mortlake 1 straight 6. That's 11 minutes into the the first turn there. A pretty good crowd there too then at uh, at the Reed Oval as well there too as well. And the Randa won the Warrnambool District Football Nepal League Grand Final last week knocking off the uh, Miravale. Of course Miravale didn't lose a game for the home and away season with a percentage of about 370 odd or whatever it was and then the Randa came and beat him twice in the space of, two, of 14 days so incredible effort there as well. Pete will try and get Kratz to try and get preview into this big game because there's a lot to look forward to both sides. We've got a lot of locals involved as well. These 10, 15 minutes before the first bounce, how would they be feeling right oh, now? Oh, look, they'd be on the edge of their... Uh, their nerves would be right on the edge uh, coming out on grand final day. Uh, it's a big occasion for both clubs, obviously a long premiership drought, but uh, LV have been up and about in this area for three or four years now, and um, we know Joe Dare's stepping down at the end of the uh, end of the season, so or after today, so uh, I think it's... Uh, they, they would know that their uh, chances of grabbing a premiership in this era uh, are coming to it. But yeah, it's going to get tough for them. They're and a lot of, lo and a lot of the, as we said during the pre-game show, that both these sides, a lot of kids have played local footy yes. and junior footy at their respective clubs. So. I see both clubs have run out with 30 points. They've still got 10 points. That's really good. That's yeah, right, yeah. yeah. So it just shows that we do develop our own down here in the CDFNL. And, uh, yeah, that, that's great. So when, uh, I guess... 
It's funny when you think about it. Dan Casey kick-started both, both these clubs. clubs, didn't they? So LV were having a few years in the wilderness after, you know, those failed preliminary final um, games when they were playing Irrawarra back in their, their premiership years. And then, you know, they had a few years down near the bottom of the ladder. They never really bottomed out, but they were in that, you know, eight, six, seven sort of spot. Dan came over and, you know, kick-started them again. They were playing some pretty good football. Liam McGon and Josh Goonan took over and then Joe Dare um, came apart and, uh, and he's really risen the club up. And then, yeah, likewise, Dan came to the Imps when they were sitting second last, last on the ladder and um, took over a couple of years. And then Listero uh, took the full reins uh, in 2021 and just slowly each year built right back up the ladder to the point that uh, they've got to the... Uh, to the grand finals at, uh, at these sort of point times. And yeah. it's just, I reckon, a great story when you look at it. And it's pretty ironic that John Henry was the coach of their last two yeah, premiership sides right. for both clubs as well. Skinny A, four goals uh, in that yeah, premiership yeah. for yeah. the Imperials, while um, Brett, Brett Maloney, Brad Maloney, uh, kicked four goals for Elvie in that yeah. grand final. And then back in the time when uh, well, when Dan Casey came in, Peter Lucas, of course, took over the presidency of oh, um, yeah. Imperials, and they really were... They were really in dire straits at that stage. They were struggling to field a reserve side. And, um, yeah, they'd done a fantastic Pete, job Pete, to turn how, that around. how bad did it get at him? Oh, it, it got bad enough that we were worried that they might not field make a side. It. Yeah, that they might not make staggering it. To it's think, staggering to see, Yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah, but they they really, they very had a very limited list on um, when Peter Lucas took over and they were really uh, dragging people out of the cars to make up their numbers in the reserve And side. the Western Oval is such a key venue for us in yes. our league. I mean, yeah, gee. Yeah, yeah. Tough times to the point that they had a famous number 44 run around one well, afternoon. Yes, one. Yeah. We remember him, Midday, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. It was one of the greatest three disposal games in yeah. history what of what reserve football. Name, uh, M. Blake okay. was the oh, uh, no. yeah. name. Don't there. give him Lakes. the credit, AJ, yeah. please. Former club legend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it, just, it just shows what can be achieved, though. Like, yeah, I mean, sure. uh, the steady head there with Pete Lucas and Dan Casey, things started to turn around, and, yeah. But um, I'll tell you what, Alvy been on the ground for a long time. Yeah, Alvy, still in yeah. There. In the hut, all but still in their rooms. Tell you what, uh, Aaron Crow, the reserves coach, is uh, going to have a big time tonight. I tell you what, Simpson will be in a very, very tight place to get into tonight, oh, yeah, I reckon. Yeah, will be going Luke. off. Yes. Uh, Look, AJ, stat-wise, mate, who's going to uh, have the big numbers this afternoon? What do you expect? Who's going to make your hand a bit sore today when yeah, you're the two, the stats? The two, the two dare boys on Alvi, Levi and Lincoln. Um, One of my other favourite moments, truly. Really. Yeah, plus, plus <laughs> Deep Felicos and Sammy Vale, the, the, the four ball block guys. So yeah. th- those are the ones who... <laughs> the ball brigade. <laughs> the ball brigade. <laughs> easy, Drew, easy. Fuck your hatred. Oh, jeez. Um, oh, uh, yeah, Sammy the, Vale's hamstring, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's and, a two-week hamstring injury. Is that we, real? We and Link Dare's ankle. Yeah, but well, we, I think you can cover up an ankle, but an hamstring, though. Yeah. Big well, H, you ever done a hamstring, mate? No, never done one, mate. Not fit enough. <laughs> not fit so enough. Uh, we've seen Sam Vale really come home uh, hard in the uh, Marnie Medal on uh, Wednesday night. He, he polled four three voters probably in the last six rounds. So he was, he's was he been in terrific form. So... I reckon he's probably worth the risk. Yeah, on the inside side of things, I'm looking at the two runners in Campbell Tannis who finished runner-up in that Marnie medal, Pete and Liam Cunningham. Those guys have got such big roles to play with. Campbell Scott not in the team today, Pete. Yeah, look, it'll give them a bit of freedom to be in around the ball maybe a little bit more than what they have. So... Look, with the adversity comes opportunity. Absolutely. So, yeah, um, crisis creates yeah, opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, that's that's the way Imps will be looking at. Paul Listro would have sent that message throughout the week to the boys. To M- Max, yeah. he's alluded to it. I reckon Paul Listro's got something today, something that we didn't expect coming in. There's going to be something that he, he yeah. needs to do different from yep. a couple of well, weeks. Well, do you ago. back your system, or do you have to, on grand final days when you are the underdog, right? You, you got to throw a spare in the works. Now, I, I don't like to refer to AFL when you're covering like junior, uh, country footy, but Malcolm Blight, 97, lost his best full four. Tony Modry the week before puts their back. He puts his back pocket up forward and he snags five goals. Yeah, I've been five. told. Uh, I've been told by my good source, Sammy Lucas will start back today, and Noah Allen will start forward. Well, see, that's yeah. that's the thing. But then, could you play Noah Allen as a as a Mark Blitzarv type ruckman to sort of nullify? Levi Dare a little bit. That's just a lot of little things yeah. that I... He's got some good pace. He's mobile. He can pick the ball off the ground. He can play as a tall. Maybe in little spurts what Campbell Scott could play like and just have that role. See what happens. Just throw it up because the way that they played two weeks ago and the way that they played against Delvey later in the year at home, then that's not going to win it. Yeah, well, that's what I was just about to say, that the last two times they've met, 
and Alvey have handled Imperials reasonably comfortably. So I, I would expect that Paul Listro will, will throw something <laughs> yes, different their way. Yep. He's even going to roll out today. They're not even on the ground. No, to well, start that, that might be what he's doing different. Yeah. We're not coming out. <laughs> yeah, umpire just come out about two minutes yeah, ago, I think, so I don't I think, think there are any rush. I think we'll be running behind schedule. Alvey are going to be knackered after this 45-minute <laughs> warm-up they're doing. Paul Listro is a smart the man, Maxie. Fresh from the week off. He's a smart man. Uh, well, obviously, uh, actually, you mentioned that because Emily's got a bingo card today, oh. and, and one of them's got a kick and let cow like a cup of tea. Drew, you know, better get it out. And mate. around the ground, thanks to Think Water, that's what North Warrnambool are doing at the moment. <laughs> They're three six twenty four. They know are trying what like one straight six eighteen minutes into the first term. So there, there you go, Emily. Shot a red cordial for you. Yep. Now, uh, obviously, turned eighteen last week as well. So great to have her back in the studio. Great job for Leah last week as well. Yes, yeah, she was great. She feared to come into the box. Just Ryan before. Hickey this morning, Drew. Yeah, that, Ricky, right, yeah, yeah, doing right. a very good job there. He was at the USC last week in Sydney. Yes, so, was, yeah, yes. of course, there was every. Uh, I've been getting a bit, a bit, a bit of uh, talk up that I need to do a top five panelist of the city for now. Oh, life. Geez, Ooh, so no. Might do that in the post game. We have a bit of time <laughs> yeah, there. Really I'll tell you, the Imps aren't out there. They're, they're, no. they're staying in the locker rooms yes. at the moment. LV have been out there for a good 12, 13 minutes. They ran through the matter while the old Simpson were doing the presentations. I'll be wondering what's going on. They yeah. must be giving them a nice little pet talk, well, I reckon. Yes. I think they might be playing mind games. very interesting move here by Paul Listra. I wonder if it'll pay off. Mm. Uh, don't think it'll make a lot of difference, mm. but anyway, it's... Um, you yeah, kept look, waiting, we, Pete? <laughs> you, you had me waiting. <laughs> Trish turned up about half an hour late. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that on air. But Good anyway. afternoon to Trish, by the way. <laughs> well, it's out, she's it's out there now. Uh, she only had five minutes to drive down the road. <laughs> Quarter time in the a grade Apple, thanks to Theodore Podiatry. LV 13, lead here or be 8 8. So we'll keep you updated on what's going on around. They are literally not well. coming out for this grand final. The Colac Imperial is a bit like your wedding, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. A bit. Thought it was a no show. <laughs> a bit like. Uh, At what point in time were you thinking, oh, maybe this is not happening? Uh, yeah, well, I probably lost track of time. It was that. I fell asleep. Richmond weren't up. playing that day, were they? <laughs> no. If the heater was uh, on in the church, yeah, people yeah, would have fallen asleep. Oh, yeah. even going to line up for the anthem. This is extraordinary stuff here. Yeah, yeah, so. Paul, this are you going to line up for the national anthem? The Colac Imperials haven't even run out yet. Mm. This is bizarre. Well, if, you, if the imps don't come out, you can't have a game, Drew. Can you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what was the day when the cut? This is probably not the opening. They on strike or something? Yeah, I mean, something's going on. Oh, the Big fans H, are how's, waiting. How's the field downstairs, Big H? Uh, yeah, it's. Uh very windy out here, boys. You don't, probably don't realise from up behind that glass, glass yeah. uh, door there, but I was just talking to John O. Jennings. He said the wind is going everywhere. It's even hard to pick. You know, you think it's going this way and you kick it and it goes the other way. So imps are coming yeah, out on the ground as we speak, there boys. We go. Oh. Three minutes before the game was about to get underway. <laughs> yes. Not sure, not sure this banner's going to hold up, boys, just quietly. Yeah, so I think they oh. Oh, no. no. no yeah, this oh. is a big moment oh. for these. A lot of these local kids. No Campbell Scott, unfortunately. Uh, with the an injured foot he suffered in the last five minutes of the preliminary form. There's quite a number of them in long sleeve jumpers today. There is a lot. Oh, they're traditional. There are a lot of them yes, are traditional. Are. Real traditional, traditionalist, if I get that right. Lucky Billy Brownless is not here, otherwise we'll be turning into oh. him. But um, now, look, they're out in the ground here too. I don't think they realise that they'll be lined up for the national anthem. <laughs> they're going to do their 15 minute warm up while they'll be yeah. standing there. This is a great tactic by Paul Istro. Mastermind of the coaching yes, fraternity. That's right. So yeah. we said we'd do something. Yep, and, he, and Ed Thomas, who's their MC, and of course, taking over from. Straight in. Yeah. Lippy just said, nah, we'll get them going, boys. So you know what? I guess so. Yeah. I, I guess where they lost track of time, usually you need a good team. Well, they always to say, though, you do a warm up, warm up, though, and then you've got to stand and do your, um, your national yeah, anthem. That's your real chance of doing a hamstring in the next warm up. So they get their little couple of minutes after the national anthem. And, uh, yep. Yeah, we've got the national anthem coming up, and it's going to be sung by a local, I'm pretty sure. We've got a premier, one a premiership, I think, this morning, too. So, so what's that? Yeah. Pete Hickey going to sing the national anthem? Is that Hopefully, right? Yeah. No, no, unfortunately, for the uh, <laughs> tenth chair, year in a row, he's got rejected uh, by himself. I turn my chair, Pete, if well, you're listening. It might, uh, be, it might be Wilco. Wilco's yeah. out Let's there. Let's try some underweight Thomas too for a pre-game hostilities.
Annie Gritton Williamson, of course, who was involved in a premiership this morning with the, un the 15 and under Iora Bag Nepple Sword, of course, defeated the Western Eagles earlier today and sang that absolutely beautifully. So, well done to Annie there. As Dom Dare and Jeremy Spokes playing in their first respective grand finals for, we'll do the coin toss. Shake the hands there, Paul Wistro and Joe Dare. Where's Big H? And Big H down to you, mate. Yeah, the toss of the coin. Jez has uh, won the toss and gone to the school end of the ground, boys. So yeah, okay, cricket club at the end. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Looking forward to it. But uh, now, cannot wait to get stuck into this big one. It's been, like I said, it's been 175 days when, these, when the season kicked off here at the Central. And today, we've got the two best sides in the comp. My do tips, Marjorie, and the best on ground. First goal as well. My cross down to you, Big H. Who do you, what are you predicting? Yeah, I'm tipping Alvi in a pretty low scoring one. Conditions, you know, today's scores have been pretty low, so uh, we'll go Alvi 24 points and Chris Patch first goal. Yeah, uh, over to you, AJ Brody. So I've got a couple here. Firstly, me, Alvi by 20 points, and I will go uh, best on Grand Dean Felicos. And first goal kicker, uh, I'll go Michael Robb, so I'll leave Dom for you, Pete. And uh, Ernie the tractor driver from Forest, Alvi by 23 points, Bombers in the netball by 11 goals. Uh, Max Blake. Uh, I'll go Alvi by six points in extra time, Michael Razor via best on ground, <laughs> and Dom Dare first goal. Pete Mulherrod. Yeah, so I'll go Alvi by 17 points, Levi Dare for best on ground, and I'll go Paddy Seal for first um, goal. And I'm going for Alvi to win a pretty close game by eight points, and I'm going Lockie Rose to best on ground, and I'm going Michael Robb to kick the first goal of the grand final. Maxi. Yes, yeah, so uh, both sides going into their positions now. Colac Imperials kicking to the Nick Hay Cricket Club end of the ground. LV 12 premierships in their CDFNL history from 1950 to 2000 was their last Colac Imperials. Likewise, 12 premierships. 1938 was their first. Their last was in 1995. We've only had one drawn grand final. In history, it was the Colac Imperials, 8 8 56. They right. drew with Otway, Dis uh, Otway Rovers, 7 14 56. The highest ever score in City of Final Grand Final history was back in 2004. The Bay, 23 17 155. And the biggest winning margin in City of Final history was 103 points by Simpson back in 2014. Let's For the number one caller in the City of Final. His in the year, uh, the 2023, Drew Boy Simmons to get us underway for this big grand final. Craig Kerr has the footy aloft. Max Skinner in the ruck, boys. Yep. Yeah, he's on Levi there. Craig Kerr gets the 2023 decider underway. George Stephen paddles the ball forward, but Levi there gets the first kick inside 50. Seal's got a good run at the footy here. Couldn't quite chop it cleanly. Hit very solidly by Skinner. Ball comes to the back again for Marnie. He hacks the kick back inside 50. Patches in front of his opponent there in Keegan. Picks up the football. Hand pass back to Marnie. Marnie Puts it back inside the 450 up under kick. Lincoln there underneath it. Couldn't quite take the mark. Spokes over the top of him. Umpire lets it go a long time. Ball spills to the back there to Tadas. Good tackle. Michael Robb should have been rewarded. No. Goes back inside 50 again, but Stewie McCann underneath it. He takes the mark. Of course, missed that second semi final. He'll be back last week. So we've got Noah Allen picking up Levi Deer. That's a, a different yeah, move. Yeah, I like that. Got a few ones up the sleeve. That's a bad kick, and here's Link there. Or was it Levi? 
No, Mark Lincoln. Lincoln. Lincoln, I was right the first time. 55 Same haircut, out. Drewy. Yeah, I know. So Link there, he got cleared the play by the ankle. That's a beautiful kick looking for Seal. Punched away by Theodore. Ball spilled to the front again. Marnie's had a lot of it in the first couple of minutes. Ball goes back inside 50. Taken away by Tannis. Tannis there, he's quickly mapped up. Here's a chance for Vale. He has a flying shot at goal and it's out of bounds on the full. So the Swans are settled in this game nicely. And that'll be 50 kicking 50 metres. It's going against Dom Dare. Going against, going on Liam Cunningham, he was dealt with. So umpires are not going to cop any of that stuff in his grand final this afternoon. He doesn't even know it's 50 metres, Sammy Lucas. So it's only one tall forward for Imperials at this stage, 2H by the look of it. Yeah, it looks like uh, Kel Spence up there by himself. Lucas down back. Obviously, with uh, Skinner going into the ruck, it probably had to, oh, Lucas had to go back. Bad kick by Lucas, and it's been cut off there. And here's young Liam Mulder. A great story in the Carla Carroll this week. He's kick up towards half four. Tannis there should be paid the mark. That's a great mark. Class over centre mark today because Seal was coming at him. He goes in board to the skipper and Jeremy Spokes. No one on the mark, so he should go. Chipping ball is a good one and finds Jet Price. Having a very, very good 2023 season. Has it in the centre of the ground. Kicks inside 50. Ball over the head of everybody. I'll drop in the mark with Jacobs. So the Cats inside 50 for the first time. Jacobs, quick hand pass looking for Rob in a dangerous position. Levi Dare to Rosevere. His kick was partly smothered. Jacobs fighters at a quick hand pass. Moralia might have got one hide. No, he didn't. Here's a chance for Cunningham. He has a flying start from 30. Steven underneath it. Oh, that ball was going everywhere. Ball still in the spew. Comes it now to Dean Felicos, and the Swans are out of attack, out Fle of trouble. Felicos boots the ball out of defensive 50 for the Swans. Bouncing ball, picking up by Tannis in the short sleeves today. Hand pass looking for Skinner, couldn't get it to him. He tries to gather the football, got it to a teammate there in Wisby. Back to Jack, action pack Skinner, kicks... In the forward line, rolling football. He is Mulder. Got the quick hand pass over the top to Vale. Vale now's kick. It was under pressure. Ball going towards the boundary line here. It's going to be picked up here by the top, by the Imperials. Kicked inside the forward 50. Only player loose was, um, was, uh, oh. Levi Dare. Good play here by the Colic. The Imperials going to be a, a El free kick to the Swans, is yep, it? Yep. Yeah, yep. below the knees there. Would look pretty uh, ugly there. Could lucky that one they'll really snap the leg in half. So, so Felicos, Vale and Jack Skinner is another match up out there, which is a bit different. So Felicos kicks it out. Defensive 50 looking for Link there. Big mark, class up and set a mark of the day in front of Sammy Lucas on centre win. So ball goes forward, oh. it's been turned over. Here we go, Stewie McCann with the footy yeah. for the Imps. Finds a teammate on the lead. It's Georgie Boy Steven, puts it inside the Ford 50. Spence up against Rosevere. Almost a chance for Wispy. Overruns the ball. Here comes Liam Mulder. Stolen by Colin Spence. Snaps around the body. Going to the hot spot here. Numbers are with the Swans. Bouncy football. Mick Foster paddles it forward. It's going to be ricocheted here. Still a chance here for Allen. Has to get out of the tackle. Drops the football. De Lorenzo with the footy. He drops the footy as well. It's a hot football at the moment. Stacks on this one. Up eye's going to come in and ball it out. 30 metres out from the Imperials' goal. That's your vintage grand final scrap there. That was unbelievable. First five minutes, it's been hot. No score yet in this grand final. Imps versus oh. LV Skinner flew high. Couldn't get a real clean disposal out. Here's a chance now for Tannis. Got the hand pass out. Gardner's underneath this one. Good tackle there by Allen. He traps him at the 40-metre mark of the Colac Imperials' Ford 50. Gee, it's been hot. Sure. Yeah. No what a, winch what a, at the moment. What a start to this game. Skinner's throwing his body weight around Levi there. Here's Steven. Gets it to Cunningham. Oh. He's knocked off the ball. He tries to gather it again. Good pressure there by Jacobs. Comes out to Steven. This way, that way. Through traffic. Puts it back inside the Ford 50. Stewie McCann. Could he kick the first goal of the grand final? Oh, yes. yes. Betcha. What a goal that He's is. He's kicked the goal of the contender. A Westwick Sheds and Garages goal of the day. His would've first goal of the year, and what a way to do it. It would have been painted 85 bucks at that one. <laughs> and uh, that was an absolute ripper of a goal. Imps one goal, Elvi yet to score. That is on the Greg Allen Farm Machinery scoreboard. Grand final day underway. Yeah, they've certainly thrown a different look around the ball to um, what we've seen in the last two times these teams have played. And... Uh, yeah, that, that was a well-earned goal. Um, Stewie McCann got out there, and we know what a beautiful kick he is, and I think the breeze was actually behind him from that pocket. So uh, a great goal there to Imperials to start the day. Just his ninth goal at the Carlick Imperials at senior level, and his first goal for 2023, and what a way to do it in a grand final. So the Cats are on the board. Back in the middle we go. Vale in front of the contest there. Taken away again by, Key, uh, by Ozzy Arnold. Paddles the ball forward to Skinner. A high up and under kick towards left half forward. Foster has a good run in this, but over Redden. Parker dropped what he should have taken there. Was he held with? No. Garner 
Got dispossessed in the tackle. My some good pressure again. Jacobs to Parker. Back it goes again now to Felikos. Felikos goes towards centre wing. McCann got up there. Ball spills to the back here. Coming through the Lincoln Dare. Crash bash they go. Allen hand pass to De Lorenzo. His kick inside wasn't great, but it's okay. Here's Lockie Mulder. Goes towards centre half forward. Patches on a lead. Good punch away again from Keegan. Ball this on about centre half forward here for Elvie. Well played by the Cats defenders. Theodore. He's immediately dispossessed in the tackle. He goes back in and after it again. Hot footed to be one again in the centre of the ground here. De La Cruz. He's wrapped up by a couple of cats. Umpire Crow Curse is given to me and I throw it up in the air once more. Gee, this is a hot start to this grand final. We always knew it would be. It's Cunningham and Della Cruz just sorting themselves out. Ball thrown up again now. Opportunity again with Skinner. Oh, going in very solidly there. Lynch. In and under for the footy again. Della Cruz back it comes to Marnie. High up and under kick inside 50. Lincoln Dare's got the front swat. Couldn't take the mark. Balls for a three to Benny Lynch. Hand pass over to Toto Allen. Sacks from 30. Over the head of Dom Dare. And it's off hands. We'll get a boundary throw it in the right forward pocket at the city end for the Swans. He's rushing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he had, had, a, had a little bit more space there than he thought, Danny Allen. He, he could have steadied a little bit more. Jimmy Elvie. would have kicked that to a teammate. Oh, yeah, Jimmy would have. Uh, no, he would have just kicked the goal, mate. Yeah, uh, that's true. LV 24, Lady Aurobiak 16 in the second quarter there. Thanks to Theodore Bedietri. Ball back in the play again. There. That's Levi, won the tap. Garner, couldn't quite trap it. All in and under again. That one of them was Leach. Ball pin will get another ball up injury, here. Any injury updates so far, Big H, on the boundary? No, nah, no injuries down here yet, boys. Thank you, H, on the boundary. Doing a great job throughout this final series. Garner, was about four swans to penner on him. He goes back in and after again. He's immediately tackled. Just an interesting one for you, boys. Brody Stevens, who's <laughs> played in the ruck all year for Imps, is lined up on the wing on De uh, Lorenzo. Uh, so. To do different stuff, as Pete Higgy once said. Bowl up again. Kyle got a very early well read that time there by Seal. Guys out of hand pass to De Lorenzo. 30 metres out. Was he held? No. Here's, he picks up the footy again. Hand pass to Benny Lynch. Stabs! And he's offline. And through for Albie's first score of the grand final. It's a point to Benny Lynch, who also hasn't yeah. kicked the goal this year. So one behind Elvy. Imps one straight, six thanks to goal from Stewie McCann. Eight goal in first quarter, thanks to AKD Softwoods. have been great sponsors this year. Greg Allen, Farm Machinery score. When he's Tommy Kyle, has got the football. And Kyle sends the ball out of defence for the Imperials. Can he find a team? And he does. Here's Stevens on the wing. As BH said, big move by Paul Listro. Ball's going to go towards the boundary line. And uh, I think Listro's going to get the possession here. And it'll be a throw in on centre wing here. Young Isaac Tate with the... Uh, the boundary throwing duties. Old man Ben's out there as well too. So very special. Bit of father son duo there. Boundary throwing here. Skinner up against Dare. Dare wins the tap out. Ooh. Allen's there around the body as well too. Big pack tack, tackle him there. Lock, Liam Mulder. A Lockie Mulder's tackled him. Your ball up. Great crowd here. Dan the man Williams. Doing the bound, uh, doing the uh, the umpiring duties as well. Quarter time at the Reed Oval, North Waterville three eight twenty six lead. Not throwing what like one three nine. Here's Sam Marnie tried to kick it off the ground, couldn't. Tannis great tackle. Got the hand pass out. Cunningham's as well there. Stacks on the middle. It is a real hot contested game of football at the moment in this grand final. Imps leading by five six to one. Bit of a soccer scoreline, but she'll open up eventually. Dan the man Williams throws the ball up against Skinner. Just runs straight in the Levi there, but he was able to fist it about 20 metres. Allen overruns it. That was Danny Allen and Noah Allen as well. Lockie Marnie's kick was smothered. Here's a chance now for Danny Allen. Puts it inside the forward 50 for Elvi. One-on-ones everywhere. Lucas that tries to punch it forward. Patch, Tom Dare, Della Cruz. They're going to rush it through from behind. And they double Elvi's score. They're two points at the nine, almost the 10 minute mark of this opening quarter. Thanks to Oak, AKD Softwoods. It's Elvi two behinds, two points. Imps one, straight six. Mix FM home of local footy. So goes short to Theodore and, and finds Tommy Kyle. Right back pocket. Left back pocket. He goes long up the line. Wisby has to come to the front. Skinner was held. No free kick. Frisbee over around the football. Skinner's been busy early. Good quick handball under pressure to Theodore. Theodore's kick was a bit of a flighting sort of a punt kick. The dot on the trajectory. Picked up now by Sam Park. Having a good season, but not on this occasion. Gave a lot of time, but umpire lets it go. Moralia was terrific in the second semi. Dela Cruz, he was pressured. Moralia, Parker, just hacks the kick out of the pack there. And it's all Elvi out there on the outer wing. Jacobs, mops up the footy. Good quick hand pass to Felikos. He runs into a bit of trouble. Good tackle. Now I reckon that'll be holding the ball, I reckon. Great tackle by Liam Cunningham. He had plenty of time to get rid of the possession there. 
Just no time, is there? Uh, the tackling is very hot from both sides at the moment. Just your vintage grand final st- stuff. It's Cunningham. He's been busy early. Good short ball. Finds Jet Price. He has it now on centre wing. Spencer's the deepest forward. That's where the kick takes. That's not a great kick, though, and Levi there in the hole like he's done a million times throughout his career. Probably will take more, not take an easier mark Spies than that. the lack of votes he got in the Marnie medal yep. speak. Well, he had a few stole yep. uh, votes off him. Um, Keep looking for Brother stole. Lincoln. <laughs> Here's a chance for Felicos. Good handle back inside to Lynch. Back to Felicos. Hand pass is intercepted, though, by Price. And they're away again there. Here's Stephen Cass. Goes towards the 50, but that's oh, a very sort again. of a pass. He's got to stop kicking to him. And Levi yeah. there takes the mark, and he's got numbers in the middle. And here's Micah Robb. He quickly takes the mark. He goes in ball. What a year he's had. Goes short to Clay Jenkin. Clay Jenkin marks on centre wing. Goes in ball. Good kick looking for Patch. Good hand. Good mark. In front of top, in front there of... Keegan, class half a centre mark of the day. He's 65 to 70 metres from home. Goes in board to seal. Right half forward, 55 out. he got to go to the hot spot. Dom Dare, Link Dare is there. He's got two to beat. Got mids to couldn't mark it. Ball spills to the front. Tanners, immediately dealt with in the tackle. Umpire lets it go. Here's Ozzy Arnold now at half back. Chipping ball over the top and finds Wisby at right half back. He's off to the races. Wisby, his kick wasn't good. So much pressure and he gathers the football. Hand passes to Price. He was tackled. Chance now for Liam Mulder. Got it to Benny Lynch by hand. Back to Parker. Parker sends Elvie back inside the Ford 50. Underneath it was Rob. Couldn't take the mark. O'Shaughnessy held his nerve. Hand pass was smothered. Arnold got it over top to Garner. <laughs> Garner's kick went straight to Sammy Vale. Let's Jeez. test the, ve- the hamstring out. And he sends it back inside the Ford 50 for the Swans. Big pack around this one. Good work there by Carl. He punches the ball forward about 50 metres. Chance down for Miragula. Gathers the football in front of Cass. Quick hand pass over top to Allen. Allen's hand pass wasn't good. Miragula gets the football again. Chance down for George Stevens. Balls inside the Ford 50 for the Swans. Cunningham was tackled. Stephen slams on the boot. Kicks it out of defence. He fifth. It's a rolling nice. ball. Chancey now for Foster. Foster gathers the football, but he drops it again. Oh, he's pum- fumbling it with the football, but he's gathered it about 20 metres. Kicked off the ground there by Cale. Didn't result into any trajectory. Ball comes forward. Chance here again for Dare. Allen's there as well. Chance for Cale. Cale puts it inside the forward 50. Rosevia, quick hand pass. Sends him out of defence. 50. Oh, it might roll out of bounds. Yeah, Almost yeah. cue the Benny Hill music. We, we need a break. Pressure. The pressure is oh. enormous out there at the moment. I tell you, if there was a pressure gauge in the CDFNL, it will be through the roof. Yep. Be be knocking AJ Brady's hat off his stat sheet. Oh, 200 no. today, AJ. Be 250 at least, yeah. I reckon. Red from his pencil would burst. Stewie McCammon, the only goal of this grand final. But I tell you what, this has been red hot stuff out there. Hot in the kitchen. It's a warm day. Bit of cloud cover coming through to central at the moment. Cass. Got taken high, oh, umpire missed it, and he's going to pay hole in the footy. He did duck his head. Good call by Dan Williams, and a free kick will go to Sammy Vale. He's chipping ball over the top, and they're out here Good through kick. Michael Rob. What a year he's had. Goes further in board to Lockie Mulder. So he's going to chip it further field to seal. Good hit, curves to Michael Rob. Breaks the tackle, runs to 55, goes inside. Here's Big Dom. Good punch away that time from Tommy Kyle. Here's Lincoln. Here's a chance for Dom. He's immediately set upon by Spokes. Play on to Caldo. Keegan, he hacks the kick out of there. Bouncing footy here. On time for everybody at the moment. Taken away by Cass. Still played. Back it comes in now to Skinner. Skinner just hacks the kick wide, and it's very wide as a matter of fact, and it's gone out of bounds on the full. That wind really pints and having out there at the moment. South Colac didn't kick a goal in the opening quarter in last year's grand final, and they still resulted in premierships. Simpson, back in 2015 as well, didn't kick a goal in the first quarter. They were able to win, but back in 2019, it took four quarters for South Colac to snag their first. Alvey at the moment on two points, but they are playing some good footy. they just got to try and get... A major at the moment. Link there's got it on centre wing. He's kicked the centre half forward over the head of Seal. Good mark. Sammy Lucas in defensive 50. Quickly plays on now for the Colac Imperial. going to go up the Good guts kick. of the central reserve. Noah Allen takes the mark. Allen now assesses the options. He bangs it back inside the 450. Spence has got the set. Oh, yes. And he takes a class over centre mark of the day. He's plays playing. on and kicks a goal. The Colac Imperials have got their second. What a play there by the Imps. Goal of the day, contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. Callum Spence kicks his first goal of the 2023 Grand Final. It's his 51st in 20, season 2023. And the Imps are two straight, 12. Elvie, two behinds, two points. Big H down on the boundary. Yeah, interesting start, isn't it? Elvie sort of 
sort of controlled the footy there for a while, but just couldn't hit something inside forward 50, and Imps went through the middle. Noah Allen, interestingly, in the middle of the ground at the moment too, boys. So, yeah. Yeah, they've got the first two goals, so... I like that move. Half-time in the A-grade netball. Thanks to Theodore with Audrey. Albie lead by five over the Bombers, 25 to 20. Back in the middle we go here. allen has been busy early. Chance for Tannis. Oh, beautiful pick-up under pressure. And he's banks the kick up towards right half-forward. wisby has got the pace, but a shocking bounce for everybody. But it was good for Cass. Pounces the ball forward. Here's an opportunity again. Spikes was going too fast. And he just ripped someone into the turf. Oh, ball up. Good umpiring there. Yeah. Would have been a little bit fortunate there not to give away a free kick there, I reckon. He might have got one high, I reckon. But umpire wastes no time. Foster. That was Jared to Mick. Fires a quick shot. Spence again. Touch play on steps. And kicks two in a minute. The former Swan has kicked two in a minute in the grand final. And the Cats are off to a flyer. Three straight 18 on the Greg Allen Farm Machinery scoreboard. LV two behinds, two points. Something out of nothing, Pete Mulherron. Yeah, this is a great start for him here at the moment. Uh, yeah, so we've seen uh, just forcing the ball forward just through sheer weight of numbers. They, they just not giving LV any time or space, and they just continue to force the ball forward. And uh, Cullen Spence there, another contested... Uh, well, was, the ball was touched, but he actually took clear possession and played on and, and kicked another easy goal. This is, one play you don't want up and about, do they? No, no, this is a completely Spence. different colour imperial side to what we saw a fortnight ago. Back in the middle, they've got the jump here at the moment. Skinner punches the ball towards half forward. Getting in front again was Jared Foster. Couldn't quite take it. Marnie buys out a quick hand pass to Lockie Mulder. His hand pass was too off for Levi there. Goes out and picks up the footy, though. Takes the kick to set a half forward. Lucas underneath it. Got a shocking bounce. Bounces back to towards the centre, here's Link there he's immediately wrapped up but good enough to get the hand pass away but well played by Theodore and the Cats are away again, goes to centre half forward, ball off hand, spill spills to the back, Stephen picks up the footy 40 metres out, his kick was partly smelled off the boot here it comes again now, bounces towards the forward pocket, Spence there picked up by Price, hand pass back and board to Stephen, didn't have the football coming through again was Mulder, he's immediately wrapped up, ball pin, will get a ball up at half forward for the, for the Cats who have started this game off really well, they lead by 16 18 gone in this uh, quarter thanks to AKD Softwoods in the grand final. They're getting some good run from half back too, Imps. Um, yeah, they're moving the ball pretty quickly down the ground. Yeah, punches it forward, but Tanis gathers the football and puts Colac Imperials back inside the Ford 50. Big high up and under go- uh, kick comes back to Tanis. He gets his own work, but his hand pass wasn't good. He was looking for Kale. Mick Foster's oh. there as well. Porzani as well there too. Here's a chance now for Mulder. Hand passes over top to Vale. Vale now kicks the centre half forward position there. Theodore. He uh, ran over the football. Chance now for Seal. Seal gathers the football now. He's going to put the Swans inside the Ford 50. It's an open ball here. Dare gathers the football. He's tackled by McCann. Gets the hand pass up. Umpire says throw. Throw. I he Free could... kicks to Stewie McCann in defensive 50. So defensively, the Colac Imperials are on top as well. They're really double teaming Dom Dare at the moment. So Stewie McCann to kick the first goal of the grand final. Sends him out of defensive 50 here. Jacobs couldn't take the mark. Good work there by Foster. Mickey Foster sends it now to oh, centre half forward. George Stevens got a paddock. He's going to go to the football. No, a bit of fumble but he covers the football anyway. Gets around the there. Hand passes to Tannis. Back to George Stevens. His oh. kick wasn't a good one. Went to Kale. He overruns it. Oh, he tries to gather it. He kicks it off the ground. It was off the oh. Oh, oh, hit the post. <laughs> hit the ah, post. Oh. They tried to do a Sammy Kerr and kick the miracle goal. But Spence is up and about, isn't he? 3-1-19, the Colac Imperials. LV2 behind two points. We're about to hit into red time in this opening quarter on Mix FM. Gee, it's hot in the kitchen out there, I can tell you that. Jacobs, hand pass to Marnie. Chipping ball over the top, so go out wide. And finds Paddy Seal. So Seal now, it's just all of a sudden, LV would need a goal just to settle him down a little bit. Lincoln there, he's immediately wrapped up. Should have been pinned. No Pies is player, but Skinner comes away with a footy and just bangs the kick up towards left half forward. Steven at the back there, but Permazel got in front there. Just too much of a shot of the kicks. He's run a fair way, but a good kick up the line. That's well done. And finds Paddy Seal inside the field of play here. He's got Michael Robb in the middle if he wants him. Decides to go to Benny Lynch, not the 15, so he has to give it back to Seal. Back to Benny Lynch by hand. Look out. Oh, that's all in the footy, I reckon. Well done, Jeremy Spokes. So the Cats are all over him at the moment here in this grand final. It's, no, that, it's, a, it's that kick inside 50, Alvy just can't find it yeah, at the moment. that's right. So Spokes, not a great kick though from the skipper. Numbers here with the Swans again though, Jacobs. Back in my hand to Levi Dare. Chipping ball's okay again and finds De Lorenzo. 
He has it now on centre wing. He's been told to go. He's at the cat doing a good job at the moment. Kicking ball's dangerous. McCann three hands again. Taken away by O'Shaughnessy. Gets a hand pass back inside to, to, to McCann. McCann's kick was a bit of a flunky, flunky sort of a punt sort of pass, but it works. Cass, just a chaos ball inside 50. Bounced awkwardly for Levi there, but picks it up. Goes short, and it's okay to DeLorenzo. He's quickly marks and plays on, and he thumps the kick up towards it. Ah, oh, oh, Danny Allen read it beautifully. He what takes a kick. It. Beautiful kick. 48 metres out, been told to go. He's going to go short. Here comes Dom Dare. Ooh. Well done, Stewie McCann. That was an outstanding grab. Dom Dare was coming at him, and Stewie McCann stood tall and took Big a class small. over centre market today, as you would too. Gives it over to O'Shaughnessy. The kick out wide here. Here's a chance for Brody Stevens. He's got a paddock in front of him. Oh, it's a bit of an awkward one for him, no. Dead high, some good pressure. All this on centre wing. Levi there getting back. Allen right on his tail. Well played, no, Allen. And they won the football. Here's an upper hand pass now with Bailey Kale. He got around one. Runs oh. to 50, picks it up. Beautiful tipping oh. side to Price. That was outstanding football by the Carlock Imperials. They just worked their way, worked their way forward. How about the Allen battle with Levi Nair, yeah. yeah, and that was insane. I don't know how they won that. But Jet Price, this to put the margin to 23 points as we close in on quarter time. Uh, that was great vision from Kyle. Instead of just bombing it to the square, he looked uh, for a short option. and 32 goals for the season. He comes in now from 45. That looks pretty good. And it's there, I think. No. We're off to the left, one behind. Margin is 18 points. They're 3 2 20 to LV, two behind, two points. First quarter, all thanks to AKD Selfwoods, and then it's on the Greg Allen Farm Machinery scoreboard. Hates to win a change. Benches on a warm day like today. They're working overtime at the moment. Yeah, they're coming off blowing pretty hard here, boys. It's obviously. Uh a lot of high-pressure footy at the minute. Rosevear plays on. He runs his 20 metres and bangs the ball 60 metres. He's an 80-metre player. Here's a chance now for Allen this way, that way. He kicks forward and he finds Jenkin on the lead. 60 metres out. He kicks looking for Carmody in the left forward pocket. Gathers the football. Tackled by O'Shaughnessy. Umpire gives him plenty of time. Picked up here by Stephen Cass. Hand passes over the top now to O'Shaughnessy. Chip kick out of defence. Looking for Foster. Beats him. Gardner though. Oh. Hand pass. Didn't get it over the top to Arnold. Comes out to O'Shaughnessy. Hand passes the ball over the top to Tannis. Gets it over the top and there's your siren. Mm. 23 minutes went in that opening quarter and the Colac Imperials lead by 18 points. 3-2-20 to two behinds. Two points. Callan Spence, the former Swan, has kicked a couple and the other goal kicker was Stuart McCann who kicked the first goal of the grand final. South Colac will keep goalless in the opening quarter last year and still went on to win the premiership so it's still not out for Elvie. This is going to be a classic afternoon. Just before we go to a break, Big H on the boundary. How did you see that first quarter? Yeah, it was a bit of an arm wrestle, but um, it almost looked like Imps, uh, uh, sorry, LV were able to get the ball into f around forward 50, but then their last kick inside just didn't hit enough targets, did it? So, whereas Imps, Imps got their run going off half back, got it, got the inside 50s, probably scrapped it in there a little bit, but got the ground ball in there and and just looked really quick around the contest. And uh, yeah, obviously, Cal Spence got on the end of a couple. Yeah, um, yeah for a bit of a surprise, really, boys, to be honest. Yeah, well, Albie Lee 28, or back 23 in the A grade netball, thanks to Theodore with our group. It's quarter time in the grand final, and it's the Colour Imperials 3 2 20, lead Albie 2 behinds, 2 points. We'll take a break back with the second quarter, all thanks to Kelly Civil Constructions after this. On Mix FM, this is CDFNL Live. Three Sevens. Get harvest ready with Three Sevens. Right now, there's customer instant rebates of up to $2,000 on the Crone Baylor range. Re7s, the Mix FM business of the month. Do you or anyone you know suffer from heel, Achilles or foot pain? It can affect not only your daily activities, but also your ability to perform on the sports field. Theodore Podiatry Group offer all the latest treatment options for soft tissue injuries including the only evidence-based extracorporeal shockwave therapy machine in Colac. To find out more, call the team and let them assist you to stay at peak performance both on and off the field. Theodore Podiatry Group. What makes you a local of the Great South West? You've dressed up and walked down Murray Street for the Carna Parade. You've ran a couple of laps of Botanical Gardens. And a Holmes Pie is the only pie you love. 
Holmes, the best in the West, Murray Street, Colac. The Ball and Chain at Home in Simpson for over 50 years. Pop in and taste some of their delicious meals with weekly specials or make it a date each Wednesday for pot and palmer night for just $20. Check out the menu and make a booking by simply searching Ball and Chain Simpson on Facebook. The Ball and Chain, open every Wednesday to Sunday. Mowers are in stock and available now from Mark Benton Farm Machinery Repairs Simpson, your authorised Ferris and Victor dealer. Ferris and Victor Zero Turn Mowers offer a smoother ride, delivered by two or four wheel independent suspension, together with a steel fabricated deck. Both brands are quality built and made in the USA. They also carry a range of belts and blades for other mower brands and stock a large range of four ply and six ply ATV and side by side tyres. Mark Benton Farm Machinery, 580 Sunday Ridge Road, Simpson. Birigara Self Storage would like to congratulate the Birigara under 14s footballers and B grade netballers playing for the Premiership Cup. This weekend, get it done, go Beery. Birugara Self Storage, for all your self-managed storage solutions, fully secured. Looking for building materials? Then look no further than Parlour's Home Hardware of Simpson. They have a huge range of timber lines, roofing products, plumbing items and electrical gear. If they haven't got what you need, they can order it in. Parlour's Home Hardware, Bowenwell Street, Simpson. Your call is important, please. Yeah, yeah. Your call is important, please. Oh. Oh, shut up. Wait, KFC are doing 24 nuggets for just 10.95. Shut up and take my money. Not everywhere, enough forever. Pick up early. From Longfed to Longreach, from Berry to Burke, Combank is committed to supporting regional Australia because our teams are proud locals too, who understand the importance of serving our community be it local industry knowledge or flexible financial support when times are tough, right through to recognising local organisations with our community grants and donation program. To learn more about our three-year branch commitment, search ComBank Regional Support. To be a traveller comes with great responsibility. The responsibility to choose from a huge range of new and used campers, caravans, pop tops and motorhomes. Prestige Jayco Geelong will guide and assist and make sure you hit the road with the best choice. Some 2022 models available for immediate delivery. Free no obligation quotes from Jayco Finance and Jayco Insurance available. Plus a spare parts and caravan accessory store on site for all your caravan needs. Prestige Jayco Geelong. Bellarine Highway. Open seven days a week. Powered by KFC Colac, AKD Softwoods, Sports Power and Kelly Civil Construction. This is CDFNL Live. Quarter time in the grand final and it's been a big start for the Colac Imperials. They lead 3-2-20 to LV2 behind two points. Callan Spence with two goals in the first seven in the space of two minutes. Game on the netball. We'll get to that in just a sec. Here's some Steph Cobb stats thanks to AJ Brody. Two free kicks in that first term do LV3 to Colac Imperials. Ten hit us to Levi Deer. Three to Jack Skinner of the Imperials. Couple to uh, one also to Jared Foster and one to Thomas Carl. Major stats winners for the Imperials side of things. 11 to Campbell Tennis. Four kicks, seven handballs, one mark. Eight to George Stevens. Six kicks, two handballs, one mark. Eight also to Jack Skinner. He's played a brilliant first quarter. Six kicks, two handballs, no marks. On the LV side of things, eight to Paddy Seal. Four kicks, four handballs and four marks. Or a mark watch for him, Drew. Nine to Danny Allen, five kicks, four handballs and two marks. And seven to Sammy Bale, six kicks, one handball, one mark. Those are leading stats winners to quarter time versus Steph Conn boys. Big Hay standing on the ground, little mate. What do you make of that first quarter? Yeah, as I said before, it's sort of, you know, I, th- I thought Alvy controlled the first 10 minutes, but then he just got their running game going and just scrambled the ball inside 50 and, and looked dangerous at ground level with their leg speed, as, as we probably know all the time. So. I'm yeah. uh, getting a bit of a raz from the boys down here too, just quietly. With, uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, Agro Nepple game on there. Illawarra back are fighting their way back. They only trial by three now with in the third quarter there, just around the ground, thanks to Think Water. North Point number four, 11.35. They like to rank Mortlake three, 3.21. That's 19 into the uh, second quarter. How'd the Cobden Rezies go, Drew? Uh, they got done, mates. Oh. Uh, uh, in the GFL prelim final, Leopold 2.2.14. Leeds St. Mary's 1.7.13. In the GDFL grand final, Thompson have got the envelope. Sorry, I've got the jump on Thompson. They're four straight 24 to two behinds, two points. So we'll keep you updated on what's going on throughout the course of the afternoon. Second quarter underway here in the grand final. Thanks to Kelly Civil Construction. That's uh, Christian's company. Thanks for him to jumping on board. About the course of the year, we're in Michael Robb. He's immediately slammed, dunked into the turf. Ball pinned, will get another ball up. And there's a little bit of... Uh... Both sides going in hard with their tackles, aren't they? Yeah, Pete? they are. They and, it's, are. Uh, and it's on here too between... Uh, well, umpire gets this game underway once again. 
Skinner is into it with Vale. Yeah, they're not getting up. They're having yeah. a nice little Saturday mm. afternoon yeah. cuddle on the Central yeah. Reserve. Yeah, the boundary, the, the Burns, the umpire's not just sitting there. I think it's Jack Evans who's doing the boundary, uh, doing the Burns, the umpire today. Del Renzo couldn't quite take it. Spokes, Vale, couldn't quite take it cleanly. He's immediately well tackled by Spokes. Well, Pin, we're going to do it all over again. And, oh. a, and then uh, Alan and uh, Permazel just having some some words. So I'm not sure what was said at uh, half time. Two to goals, the difference now in the A grade netball. Where they'll be leading, but you're back and coming. Free kick will go to Levi there in the ruck. They wanted the advantage. Why wasn't that advantage? Should have been, should have been. Yeah, yeah. should have been. So free kick will go to Levi there. No injuries yet, Big H. No, definitely no injuries. Um, yeah, they're just uh, high rotations down here. I think every four or five minutes there's three yeah, or four going yeah. on and off. So One goal the difference now in the oh. Agro Nepal. You are back, are coming. Went in an extra time last yeah, year. Yeah, there's a good chance it might happen again this year. Kick long by Levi there inside 50. Good punch away by Lucas. Ball spills to the back again. Theodore had a good start. Banks the kick out to centre wing. Kale is there with Felikos. Well played by there by the Swans defenders. Marnie, he thumps the kick on back inside 50. Lucas is underneath it there. Coming in with Seal. Ball spills to the ground. Coming through McCann. Trying to keep the ball afloat. But well played by Thin Keegan. But he just ran out of too much room. And we'll get yet another band. We throw it in the forward pocket for Albie. This is probably the first real opportunity in the second quarter. I think the umpires have had a pretty good start to this yeah, game as well. Yep. They've let put, it really flow, haven't they? Put the whistles away indeed. Boundary throw in. Oh, we yeah, have to do that, that one again. Uh, I think we're going to do it all over again. <laughs> Back in, uh, I jinxed him. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, 2013 when Imps last played in the grand final. They got the jump on Lawn in that first quarter. up four goals to two. Uh, yep. Day and Lawn were able to pile on eight goals in the second quarter to sort of break away the... The margin there, so scores are level in the A grade. Nepal 29 apiece, but the Gims get out of the defence here in the footy with Arnold. He's kicked along up the line, went straight down the throat of Dean Valakos, and he banks the kick back inside 50, bouncing footy in the spirit. Here's Michael Rob, well played, head pass to Seal, left foot pocket, stab around the body, Dom at the back, Gakamani picks it up, and she'll kick a goal. No, he can't, tug. just rushed it as he get the ball to boot. Rush behind. That was a good build up though. Three quarter time, in fact, it's 29 apiece. Oh, Thanks to Theodore Bernard. Old fashioned teeth draw, I drill Yeah, it is like last year. We'll keep it up to date on what's going on. So McCann thumps the ball out, defensive 50. Yeah, good mark. Dallo Renzo, you're guilty. Puts it inside the 450 for the Swans. Chance in there for Vale. Here's Cunningham, though. Richie's boy sends the ball outside, defensive 50 for the Kayak. And oh. Skinner! Oh, oh John O'Brien tight mark there. Class over centre mark of the day, but Action Jack Pack Skinner puts it inside the forward half. Good mark in defence by Will Jacobs. Another great mark. Couple of good class harvests as he kicks short and finds Maragula. Hand passes to Lockie Marta, Mar- and Mulder through the corridor. The central reserve puts it inside the oh. 450 and Tom Deere. Big mark. Big play there by the Swans. That was a good play. Jacobs to Mulder to Dom Deere. And he'll have his first shot in the grand final. He should kick this one. He's kicked 113 snags in 2023. The first... Centurion goal kicker since Benny Cox in 2015 and 2016. Missed a fortnight ago with that calf injury. A bigger calf injury story than Sam Kerr. Dom Dare goes back and kicks it straight over the goal umpire's hat. And the Swans have got a goal in grand final 2023. It's a goal of the day contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. 139 LV Colac Imperials 3220 Greg Allen Farm Machinery Scoreboard. Four minutes gone. In this second quarter, thanks to Kelly Seville Constructions, Pete Mulheron in the box right next to me. Yeah, well, uh, Dom's going to have to make the most of his chances because uh, Tommy Carl's doing a great job in mine at the moment. Doesn't give him any space at all, but he was able to get into a one-on-one wrestle there, which we all know Dom loves, and uh, able to pull in a very strong contested mark there. So the Swans, just a nice little settler in this second quarter, just to get themselves going in this grand final. So it's back to 11 points now. 3-2 plays, 1-3. Four and a half gone in his second quarter, thanks to Kelly Civil Constructions. Levi took it out of the ruck. That was a bit of a rugby pass there. Comes out to Vale. He thumps the kick inside 50. Dares underneath this one. Good punch away that time from Jackson Keegan. And the ball's gone over the line and out of play. Boundary throw in. It's level in the O-grade netball. Nothing can separate them over there. There were four, It was a five-goal margin in favour of the Swans at halftime. And then the bowlers are come roaring back into it. Scores are level. We'll keep you updated. Throw in. Link there. Took it out of the ruck. 
Hand pass inside. Here's an opportunity with Carmody, but he couldn't quite take it. Cunningham just hacks to kick forward there out towards centre wing. An awkward ball for everybody. Taken away there by Marnie's had a good start. That's a good ball. And finds Luki Moralia. 55 out. Goes in board while plunging for Lekos. He worked hard for that one. He started at the at half forward. And he comes, chimes in and takes the mark, and he'll go back from 30 metres out. A bloke who knows the central reserve very, very well, Pete Moore. Yeah, he does. He knows he, grand finals too. He's yeah, the one he that does. kicked it in that umpire that got in the way that cost uh, <laughs> Colac that 2019 grand final. Yeah. But that was great work there from Sam Marnie. He used the ball really well. That's uh, that's the kick that they haven't been finding, that uh, short kick inside 50. Five goals for the season, Dean for Lakos. Is he make it six? You yes. bet he does. Well done, Dean for Lee Carson. It's a goal that I contender. He gets his first. A Westwick Sheds and Garages goal of the day. They're just starting to settle into this grand final now. The minor premiers. And at the... It's a scoreboard hurry. He's up six minutes into this second quarter on the Richardson's Real Estate time clock. LB2, 3.15. Colour Imperials at 3.220. Down here, hates on the boundary. Yeah, Levi's influence in the ruck. The first couple of uh, centre clearances there. It's gone Albie's way, forward 50 entries and one-on-one targets, always going to be dangerous. The five, five, five points to the margin here, umpire's blown a free kick it's going to the Colac Imperials it will back, it's just front in the A-grade apple by the way. Sure, it's just early stages of that first quarter, thanks to Theodore Boy, the final quarter, sorry, so Skinner hand passes to Allen and Allen puts it inside the forward 50 for the Colac Imperials got the sit, Mick Foster, but no good mark, Will Jacobs Class over centre mark, and they got the Swans going with their first goal, and he kicked out of the defence, was brilliant. Finds Liam Mulder, he's going to go inbound, looking for Della Cruz, who takes the mark, and he's off to the races too. They're running with the football, kick short, and finds Jenkin on the lead. So Jenkins still in the middle of the central reserve. Sends it just inside the forward 50, had the oh, sick, good dear. mark, no, not paid there by Theodore, Dom there, got the hand pass out the patch, overruns the footy, here comes Darcy, Theodore kick short, finds Cunningham, umpire said not 15, and it'll be a ball up 55 metres out from the Swans goal the Swans 15 imps 20 have travelled 7.5 in this second quarter here on Mix FM CDFNL Live, streaming on the AFL Bowen TV app as well Dare, that was Lincoln that won the tap out tunnel ball scenario Felikos is there as well He's going to gather it oh. next to Spokes. Spokes used his body well then, too. It's a free football here. Can someone win it? No. It's going to be stacks on him. a ball up on the edge of the square. Just favouring the Colac Imperial side of the ground. Grandstand side here at the Centre Reserve. Home of Essendon's 2018 and 20 premierships when they won the JLT games which, against the Cats. Which doesn't Skinner count. because Skinner <laughs> kicks high, finds Wispy. Big mark. It's the only venue that Essendon can beat Geelong at. <laughs> AJ's petitioning as we speak for Essendon to play the home games here. Wesby, oh. kick, looking for Garner. He had space, but the kick wasn't good. And it's gone out of bounds. Just inside their Ford 50 scoreboard side oh. here at the centre reserve. What, what happened, happened, Pete? Oh, so uh, Garner wasn't too happy with things and he uh, got stuck into uh, Sammy Park and put him down. Lucky not to give away a free kick. Boundary throwing inside the Ford 50. The Imperials here haven't scored yet after leading... By 18 points at quarter time. Skinner punches it forward. Here's a chance for Sammy Parker. Parker now kicks it out defensive yeah. 50 and finds a teammate beautifully. It's Lockie Rosevier right from the scoreboard. Five point in the margin in the grand final. Angus Permazel thumps the kick long. Up to centre wing here. Lucas has to come out of this, but Lincoln Levi there stood tall and took a really good mark. Class half a centre mark of the day. He does it on centre wing. Goes in ball with a kick there. McKean has to come in, oh, but a super mark. mark by Allen. That was. Danny Allen, to class half a centre mark of the day. He's got Dom there, one out. Good punch away by Tommy Kale. Ball spills to the front here, Keegan. Hand pass was a little bit too hot for Lucas. Down the in fact, blocked up there by Seal. He has a flying stab from 30. Don't no, tell me! No, just Ooh. missed. Through for one behind. That would have brought the stand down oh, here. He's notorious for kicking those awesome goals yeah. in there, Paddy Seal. Oh, he's yeah. done a little bit of pre-celebration. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Jack Rewalt style. <laughs> that looked good off the boot, too. So margin back to four points now. Meanwhile, on the net ball, it's 31 apiece. We'll keep you updated. Ball kicked in a wing. That's a massive kick towards the centre of the ground. And Luke Garner read it well. Took, takes the mark and he quickly plays on. Kicks towards the 50. Not a great kick, though. It's not bring back a little bit of rain, but none, not, there's no chance for that today. Spokes did it really well. Gained it about five to ten metres there on Barco. And there was a little bit of not too happy there when they got themselves in a tangle. We'll get a boundary throw in there. And Liam Mulder comes in just as a few words to say to him. 
Boundary throw and a take place here. So the Cats have got it out of the fence pretty well on that occasion. Ten gone, second term in this grand final. It's by four points after leading by 18 at quarter time. Callum Spence has two goals so far. Kicked them in the first term. Dom Dare and Dean Foley cost the goal kickers in this quarter so far for Elvie. Levi Dare punches the ball forward. Cutting him in the front spot there. Caught, picked up nicely under pressure. Stabbing ball inside. It's dangerous, but it might not quite. Tanner oh, couldn't quite work. take it. Well done by Sammy Vale. Hand pass to Felikos. Hand pass to Lockie Mulder. A wobbling sort of a punt kick towards centre half forward. Numbers here for the Swans through Jenkins. Jenkins kicks inside 50. While Seal couldn't quite complete the mark. Lynch on hands and knees. Crowd task Della Cruz. Hand pass to Patch. 47 metres out. Has a shot for goal in a forward pocket. Tom Dan, not quite. Good punch away that time from Tommy Cahill. Bailey Carl kicked off the ground. It might stay in play. Yes, it does. Uh, not quite on this occasion. We'll get a boundary throw. Luke Morale, I want to deliver it. GH, I reckon they've been a bit uh, too predictable the way they're going to Dom Dare on every occasion. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think it's what they've done all year. So um, I think they just need to get a couple of smalls around him. I'd, yeah. I'd, be, I'd be having Michael Roberty's feet, I think. 11 minutes gone. Both uh, Ruckman fell over. And it's going to be a free kick in the back to the Swans. So big Levi Dare. Oh, sorry, Link Dare. Same haircut as brother Levi. Links now just outside the 50. A bit more composure in this second corner. Oh, he sells the candy. Big link there. He got oh, his... Oh, yes! He oh, kicks it oh, to oh, a grand final special. We love this candy seller. It's a golden a contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages gold oh, the day. Oh, oh, my goodness. He said, Jack Skinner, look, I've got a packet of Mars bars. And he just went whooshka. Ran away from him. He kicked a ripper of a goal. And the Swans are in front in the grand final. 3-4-22. Colic appeals 3-2-20. 12 minutes gone in this second quarter. City for now live on Mix FM. That, what a cracker, Pete. What can I say? Uh, a big fella like that selling the candy. Uh, obviously got Jack to jump high in the air and uh, just run straight around him and uh, gain that extra five metres and uh, put home the goal. Nothing wrong with the ankle. Uh, back in the middle now, Levi Dare. And pass was smothered. Tannis. I wonder how many times will Lincoln dare bring it up if they happen to win the night. Show Shannessy, yeah, I reckon. Ball pins to him, we'll get a ball up again. So the Swans have worked their way back into it. Look, we know they can. But all up again now. There, having a big impact. That's Levi. Punches it inside 50. McCann. Good handball under pressure to Lucas. He wants options further afield. Kicks the centre wing. That's not a great ball. Stephen Cass was pushing the back. Umpire said no. Here's Felipe Cost through traffic. I oh, did it with ease. Did it with multiple ease. And he has a bounce and his kick was touched off the boot. Going in front here of Link Dare. He's a man possessed at the moment. Got a kick away. Well done, Clay Jacob. Worked his way to the front. But good punch away by O'Shaughnessy. Ball still in the spirit now, but we'll get a pack. We'll get a ball up. Jenkins has been good across yeah, half he has. court, hasn't he? He's taken it up really well. Taken a good couple of big grabs. He has. Yeah, we're a back lead by two now in the last quarter of the A grade Netball Grand Final. Palmer's trying to get some revenge from 12 months ago. Dare. Steven. In the short sleeve now. Yeah, that's right. Kicks up towards half forward. Jake has read it well, but great tackle, Mick Foster. He wins himself holding the footy. Advantage should be paid. Garner hacks the kick inside 50. Spence works his way to the front. The wind tied tricky down there. Parker, he's hand pass from Smothered. Rosevere overran the footy. Numbers here with the Cats. Mick Foster there. Mulder ducked his head. Umpires calls play on. Good footy again. Ball pin will definitely get a ball up. 40 metres around from the Carlock Imperials goal. He'll go into the city end in his second quarter. Pretty fortunate to get out of that one. That was a goal yeah, for the taking. Yeah, there absolutely. There. That, like that has been today, Pete, that Breeze is definitely playing some tricks. Happy to get there. Indeed, it is. Levi there wins the tap down. Dela Cruz at the back of the contest there. Passing good pressure there with Spokes. Liam Mulder nearly got a head high tackle. Umpire wanted none of it. Here's a chance now here with Sam Marty. Oh, and he comes oh, away he with goes. two bounces. Well played. And pass to Danny Allen. Good handle to Rob. They're away again now through Jenkins. Good hand pass over the top to Lincoln there. This is good build up here. Here's a chance for Rob. Runs to 35. Kicks a grand. Oh, oh what a passage of play. What? That would have been the goal. Champagne the football drill if he kicked that. Started off uh, here with Sammy Marnie. A yeah, beautiful yeah. run through the, uh, yeah. through the line there. A couple of bounces. Yeah, 14 yeah. minutes gone. 15 minutes gone in this second quarter of 40. It is the Swans leading. 3-5-23 to 3-2-20. Imps are scoreless so far in this second quarter. Ball kicked out of defensive 50. Link there's underneath this one. Allen had to put in a bit of pressure. Oh. Kicked off there by Keegan, I think it was. It's going to go towards the boundary line. 
And he's who's looking nervous down the boundary there, Big H, Paul Listro or uh, Joe there? What's on their uh, scale of nervousness down there? Oh, they both look pretty calm, boys. Obviously, it's a yeah, it's only the second quarter, but definitely seems like um, the, the wind's pretty swirly. But it's almost like the you know right end, right end uh, end is uh, the scoring end. So I think Elby would love another couple. Stephen's thrown in the ruck. Here's Jeremy Spokes through traffic. The little Jesmeister puts it inside the Ford 50. There's Parker underneath this one. Chancy for Rosevier. Palms it forward towards the centre wing position here. Cunningham leads the race, but Rosevier, oh, he great, runs Rosie. over it. Comes out to Spence. Spence hand pass to let Cunningham run onto it, but the bounce wasn't good. The old Shane Warne leg break. De Lorenzo's there as well for the Swans. Boundary line might beat them all. It's still in place for somehow. Well done, Spence, Spence is there. It's going to go out of bounds. Jeez. And the boundary's through it. Throwing good little battle there between those two. All those four players yeah. hunting for that free football. Kick, As a free kick, free here, kick. boys, and it's going to go to the Carlock Imperials. I didn't see what happened. Mm. So free kick goes to Cunningham. It was only a matter of time that one. <laughs> Had a great first half in that semi final before he got a knock on that knee. Slowed him down a bit. Rob, hand pass went straight to Stephen Cassie. Puts it rolling inside the Ford 50. Jet Price gathers the football, but then he. Ricochets it out to Garner. Good He's tackle. tackled in the ground there by Felikos. On the footy. And pinned on the footy, says the umpire. Free kick to Elvi. They don't even look like they can score at the moment, the Ims, can they? No. Elvi's He's... defense in complete control. And I tell you what, this man, for a an early yeah. running for the Norm Smith medal, Dean Felikos. Yep. Yeah, He's been great, hasn't he? Sends it out defensive 50, looking for uh, De Lorenzo. And it's gone out of bounds in a boundary throw in 17 minutes. I think the boys are glad to get a boundary throw in to uh, draw their breath. I feel yes, like Imps indeed. need one. They're against the run of play. It's been three goals to zip in the first quarter in favour of the Imps, but it's been three goals to zip in this second quarter in favour of the Swans. There, and Stevens, the two number 20s, doing battle again. And they're going to re-known hostilities again. We'll get another boundary throw in. Half time at the Reed Oval, thanks to Theodore. Uh, thanks to Think Water. North Waterville by 14 points over Terang Mortlake. In the GFL preliminary final, it is South Mar St. Mary's by 16 points. And in the G DFL grand final, and it's Invalid oh. by 40. And well played again by Levi Dare. He's kicking sight 50 is wide of his brother Lincoln. And we'll get another boundary throw in. Scores around the course thanks to Theodore Badiatry. Eora back 34, lead LB 32. Oh. So another classic between those two clubs. At least the game's going to finish before the footy That's this right. year. Finished straight after the uh, senior footy last year. I think they played all the games on one court, but they've got two courts. It's been used for what the majority of this final series has been Genius, great. whoever thought of that, Pete. Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't me. Bombers oh, by sorry. three now. So <laughs> the bom it. Bombers are closing in on the fl flag. Boundary throw in. Well, Johnny Cass is going up to the sheds there. Yeah, so hopefully everything's all right with him. Comes out <laughs> oh, now. The candy, Carmody it? grabs it, snaps it, and oh, goes it. I think he has. I think he has. Something out of nothing from Harry Carmody, and it's a goal of the day contender. A West Vic sheds and garages goal of the day. He kicked a cracker in the second semi last year, and he just kicked another ripper from that stoppage. Just something out of nothing. Just picked the ball up. Put the ball in the boot and kicked a ripper. So the lead by nine now, the Swans. They're 4 5 29. Imps are stuck on 3 2 20. 18 and a half gone in his second quarter. Maybe the EH on the boundary. Yeah, no. It's, well, Skinner's just gone back into the ruck. Levi's influence in his second quarter has been, been massive, boys. Um, I'd nearly send Skinner to go around round the ground with him, too. Just stay with him. Back in the middle, Skinner. Dare wins the tap out. Comes out the veil. Hand passes Vail. back to, to Levi Dare. Skinner on ground level. Just puts ball on the boot. Kicks it forward. Looking for Wispy. Spokes. Just battles it forward. Wispy's lurking. Permazel's there. Vale gets the hand pass out to big Levi oh. Dare. Couldn't catch it. Wispy. Lynch is under his hammer. Lynch picks it up. Watched his uh, former side in South Colac win a flag last year. Ball kicked towards the boundary line here. Carmen near the Goal kicker from before leads the race. Gets the hand pass over top oh, to Miragula. Tackle. He's tackled. And it'll be a boundary throw in on centre win on the outer side. Alvi 4 5 29. They've kicked four goals to zip in this second quarter. Leading the Colac Imperials 3 2 20. Yet to register the score in this Cali Civil Construction second quarter on Mix FM. Boundary throwing, Skinner, there, grabs it out of the ruck. Hand pass over top to Mulder, kick was smothered. Chancy now for Benny Lynch, he's had a good grand final as well. Comes out to Vale, Vale now, assesses the options. He bangs it inside the Ford 50, 
Stewie McCann underneath this one comes out to Theodore though. He's been pretty good for the Imps as well, but his kick's Jeez. gone. Out of outs on the full. He's kicked that to Geelong. <laughs> yeah. Off the side of the boot, and he's, uh, well, I think he's actually hit Peter Hickey's house on the outer <laughs> side there. Uh, That's how far that ball went. I uh, hope he doesn't damage that forward ranger of his he's got. Oh. And just spraying spank a newbie. Ball kicked over the oh, top. Oh, not much better. Oh, that's a shocker. That's out of bounds on the full as well. And that's a, that's a clanger of the day nomination. Oh. A premium group right. painting right. clanger of the day. Right. Sammy Vale. What Still was not going to save Julie, though. Still not going to save Julie. Oh, don't throw <laughs> me under the bus. <laughs> ball now to be kicked in. Wisby's on a lead. So it comes in now, Stevens. A kick. That's another bad oh. kick. And Lincoln there comes in and takes the mark. It's a goal of difference in the A grade nipple. So it looks like it's going to be going down to the wire again. Link there. Thumps the kick inside 50. So Shanessy gets back. Carmody again. Robes it. Hand pass to Jenkins. Back it goes to Lynch. High. Up and under. It's only got about three metres. Ball's gone to the front. Kale. Bailey Kale. He's immediately wrapped up. Ball over the top. Not, not coming out. Ball pin will get a ball up. We played nearly 21 minutes in this second term. And Semi Vale's about to come off for a spell. Be a big H. Yeah, he's been pretty impressive as well this quarter, hasn't he? So yeah. last five minutes been more important too. Levi there taps it down nicely, taken away by Skinner to Aussie Arnold. Oh, oh. that's just as delivered as you ever see. The goes out. Sammy Martin might as well be a sm- and he kept the ball in play though. So well played. Oh, well done, Sammy. Brilliantly, sixty meters out, high kick to full forward. Lincoln there comes in for the side. Pulse spills to the back here. Dom rubs up, sells some candy. That's holding the footy. He took two, one on too many there. What's one down behind play there and as well? the A-grade Nepal's just finished, and Illawarra Bank has scored a goal on the siren, we're being told. So the Bombers have won by a goal. We're not sure who shoot it. So the Bombers have won it in the last play of the game. We'll keep back to it. Ball's kicked to the, towards the wing position. Mulder's underneath it. Taken away here by Jakers. There's an LV player a bit groggy behind play. So we'll patch, get, boys, we'll, patch. It's Chris patch. Patch. He was a bit ugly to get up. So Illawarra Bank. And the last play of the game have won the A-grade netball premiership, 37 to LV 36. Well done to Irrawarra Biak in the A-grade netball, ending LV's reign in that dominance. Comes out the dare, though. What can uh, the Kayak Imperials do? LV have kicked the last four goals of this grand final. Free kick's going to go the way of the Imperials. Action, Jack Pack Skinner with the footy. His only goal in the 2023 season was at Birigara from 70 metres out. He's about... 75 out now. He goes back. He puts it inside oh, the 450. Off. Well done, Micah Rob. Micah Rob dropped into that just hole. stole the ball outside. Well, it looked like Spence was going to get that footy, but he stole it. Here's Felikos. Norm Smith medalist so far in my books. Felikos. Here's a chance now for O'Shaughnessy. Roves his own tap work. He kicks short, and he finds Mick Foster. Foster now. What can he do with the footy? Oh, oh no. what, a, what a bizarre kick. It just hit his boot polish. Did Tyg teach him that? Oh, <laughs> that was a Tyg Foster <laughs> kick if you've ever seen one. What was he doing? He tried to stab it and it yeah, just, just mind, barely kick, kicked it. Hit his mind. boot. Insane. Up the toe. Oh, yeah. Ball will be thrown back up. 60 metres out from the Imperials goal. They need one before half time. Dallas Cruz with the chance here to go forward. He picks up his own roving ball. Hand pass now. Looking for Danny Allen. He's been good too. Hand pass over top to Mulder. Back to Dela Cruz. Here's a chance here for Marnie. Yeah, he's this way, this way. Hand pass over top to Mulder again. Lockie. He centers oh, the kick. Vision. It's a great Beautiful. kick. And he finds Miragula in the guts of the central reserve. LV lead by nine points. Kicks now to centre half forward. Micah Robb started the play. He puts it inside the 450. Couldn't take the mark. He's Keegan. Quick hand pass looking for Tannis. Tannis now had to get out of the tackle by Link there. He can't. It'll be a ball up on the 50. And it'll be a ball up. We've gone 20, almost 24 minutes in this second quarter. Our first quarter went for 23-16. We're at the 24-minute mark in this second quarter. Here's a chance now for Cass. Hand passes to Foster. Foster. Goes through the traffic. He kicks the centre wing, looking for Stephen Cass up against Felikos. Gee, he's been good, Dean Felikos. Right. Steals the footy. He dribbles it forward, but Foster's there. So is Delacura, De Lorenzo, and it's gone out of bounds. And we have boundary throwing right on the 50 on the forward flank for the Swans. 29 plays 20. 24 and a half gone in this second quarter. CDFNL grand final live and exclusive to Mix FM. Rachel Seabright writes the name down in history shooting the winning goal on the last sh- shot of the game. Incredible. Ball's gone back into play again. Free kick has been picked out though and it's going to go to Elvie. And it'll take him by Dela Cruz. 
24 and a half, three quarter minutes gone. Rosie wants the in flight. Della Cruz decides to send it long. Dom Dare's in front. Caster come to the back. Ball spills to the back. Danger! Danger! Not quite. Ooh. Just missing. Dom Dare, one behind. He's kicked one one in this grand final. Dom Dare, the coach of next year was Shane Quick. Swans by 10. 4 6 30 to 3 2 20. We played 25 minutes, second quarter. Thanks to Kelly Civil Constructions. McCann. Drives to kick long. That's a bad kick, but there's half time. This half grand final is up for grabs, as we all know. The Cats dominated the first term, and then the Swans had a really good second quarter. They kicked four. All the goals have been up to the Nick Hay Cricket Club into the ground. And at half time in the 2023 grand final in the senior footy, it's Elby by 10 points. They're 4 6 30 to the Colour Imperials, 3 2 20. All at the sick goal kickers so far Dean Falikos, Harry Carmody, Dom Dare. And Lincoln Dare, or Colic Imperials, Callan Spence is the only multiple goal kicker on the ground. He has two goals and single to Stewie McCann. If he just joined us, the A grade netball was another thriller, and Irora Biak have turned the tables on Elvie. It was a one goal game last year, it was another one goal game this year with Rachel Seabright shooting the winning goal after the final buzzer. 37 Irora Biak defeated Elvie 36. Quick thoughts from you, H, before we go to a break. Yeah, I thought in that second quarter, LV definitely used the ball a lot better. Uh, they were able to hit those short 20, 25 metre kicks up, get the, get get a bit of run as well, uh, get it in quick to the forward line. It looks like um, you know, going to the school end of the ground, the ball's carrying further, you know, and you're actually able to lead up at the footy quite hard, whereas at the other end, it seems like it's really holding up, holding up. It looks like it's going to get to that deeper option, but it just gets nowhere near it, boys, you know. Um, wind's going in all different directions out here, boys. So Yeah, uh, which I was going to say, H, the seven goals have been scored at one end, so obviously it's having more of an effect than, than we think it is, I suppose. Yeah, well, you wouldn't say it's going to that end of the ground. It's just It just seems like it's uh, just swirling around, but it's definitely harder to the to the, to the uh, city end of the ground. So yeah. um, Imps need to come out and probably kick three or four this quarter, and obviously all we need to try and... Uh, you know, maintain that ascendancy and, you know, if they, if they go in all square at three-quarter time, I think it's probably Elby's advantage, isn't it? So Yeah, exactly right there too. We'll take a break here on CNF and Live. Back to recap the first half and we'll keep an eye on what's, today, what's happening around the grounds in the league course because we've just seen a ripping A-grade Nepal grand final with the Bombers getting some revenge from 12 months ago. Well, here in the senior footy at halftime, it's a 10-point lead to Elby. We're back with the halftime wrap after the break here on grand final today here at the Central. Mix FM. This is CDFNL Live. Carrie and Tommy. Bit of fun because do you yes. want to start? Do you want me to start? <laughs> would, would you like to finish your um your Ross you're having first? It's so delicious. It's got <laughs> chips in it. Very good <laughs> addition. I love how you looked up at me like I should be the one talking. But you were so excited about this. I story. know, but you know you're driving this break. It's just it means you have to put your year off down. Am I? That's not written on the board, <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> Carrie and Tommy. Weekday Arvos from three. Budget.com.au for all your car rental needs. Mix FM. Reese Evans. Get harvest ready with Reese Evans. Right now, there's customer instant rebates of up to one and a half thousand dollars on the Crone Rake Range. Reese Evans. The Mix FM Business of the Month. Enjoy building a rewarding career with CMTP. They're on the lookout for people who want to progress their careers and build into becoming the next leaders and managers. CMTP has 12 sites spread across five states of Australia that are continuing to grow. So if you're stuck in a job where you have no room to move or further develop your skills, this could be the perfect opportunity for you. If you're eager to build a career with a down-to-earth and growing family brand, then head to cmtp.com.au forward slash careers. Hi, Jack Barrow here from Victorian Group Training. Are you in year 12 and looking to take a gap year next year? We have heaps of traineeship opportunities coming up for 2024. Head to vgtc.org.au or contact us for a chat. Victorian Group Training. Apollo Bay Bakery, a great place to grab a pie, cake, coffee, salad roll and head across the road to the beach on a hot day. Open seven days and home of the famous scallop pie on the Great Ocean Road. ApolloBayBakery.com.au Let Colac Hire set you up for spring. Hire a rotary hoe to level and prepare your lawns or hire the stump grinder to undercut unsightly or dangerous tree stumps. There's a machine for every job. Colac Hire, corner of Apollo Bay Road and Forest Street. Harvey Norman 
Sunshine's LG Super Deals. Five days only. Race in for super savings on LG appliances. Plus, get 10% of your purchase price in Harvey Norman gift cards. Super Deals on LG fridges, washers, dryers and vacuums. Plus, get 10% of your purchase price in gift cards. Super savings on LG TVs, soundbars and more. Plus, get 10% of your purchase price in Harvey Norman gift cards. Don't miss out. LG Super Deals ends Monday at Harvey Norman. Conditions and exclusions apply. Wait, KFC are doing 24 nuggets for just 10 95 Shut up and take my money! Not everywhere, enough forever. Pick up early. Tennis season is just around the corner. For all your tennis gear, head into Sports Power Colac. Loads of stuff in store with all the latest stock. Get that extra winner this tennis season with new gear from the experts. Sports Power Colac, Murray Street, your local experts. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Lockie. We're physios at the Cryo Bay Sports Treatment Clinic. We're running a twice-weekly exercise program at Blue Water for people with hip or knee arthritis called the GLAD program. So if your legs are painful, weak, or stopping you from doing the things you want to do, join our six-week GLAD program to become strong again. Call the clinic today to organise an assessment or book online. At the Cryo Bay Sports Treatment Clinic, we love keeping people active and healthy. Powered by KFC Colac, AKD Softwoods, Sports Power and Kelly Civil Construction. This is CDFNL Live. We're right, boys, because Jelly Slice has just arrived. <laughs> P.M. O'Hara's wife, Trish, has bought us up a whole box full of worth it. And it's absolutely That's naked. That's what he has for breakfast. It is. <laughs> yeah, three, she three wasn't meals late this time, was she? <laughs> no, paid? no, she was on time. <laughs> Welcome back to the CDFNL Live's exclusive coverage of the 2023 CDFNL Grand Final. We've had some drama. We'll get to that in a second, the netball, because it was an absolute thriller. At halftime in the senior footy, it was an 18-point lead at quarter time to the Cats that the Swans had kicked four goals to zip in the second quarter. Quarter, and a lead now by 10 points, 4 6 30 to 3 2 20 over the Carlick Imperials. While Illawarra back in the A grade Nepal just a short time ago with Rachel Seabright shooting a goal on the siren to win at the Premiership for Illawarra back. They won by one, 38 to 37. As a matter of fact, Rachel Seabright uh, was named best on court. So you tipped a big H. Well done to you. Yeah, I did tip it. Obviously, a uh, big day for Rachel. I think it's her uh, late mother Annie's oh, yeah. birthday today too, so I'm sure she would yeah. uh, tribute that, that yeah. uh, performance and that winning goal to her. So well done, Rachel. Beautiful. Well Thanks done, time. Rachel. Fantastic too. And even a ripping person off the court as well there too. Uh, time for the Stevcom stats. Thanks to AJ Brady, mate. Plenty happening on that Stevcom stats in that first half. Absolutely, mate. 2023. Yeah, so six free kicks, Alvi, in that first half. Eight to Kai Imperials. 23 hit outs to Levi Dare so far. Couple to Lincoln Dare on the Alvi side of things. On the Imperial side of things, Jack Skinner's done the majority of the ruck work. He's finished the half with six hit-outs. A few have uh, also a few hit-outs. On the Alvey side of things, uh, 13, Maxi, to your man, the Peter Featherston medalist, possibly so far to half-time, nine kicks, four handballs, three marks. That's Dean Felikos, 13 disposals. <laughs> 15, a big Levi Dare, nine kicks, six handballs, and three marks. He's been super. 13 also to Sammy Vale, nine kicks, four handballs, and one mark. The prime move has really got going for Alvey in that second term. On the Imperial side of things, still 11 to Campbell Tennis Max he got all those in the first quarter so Ooh, four, so he was disposalless in that second was, term yeah four kicks seven cool. handballs and uh, that, that just the one mark he wasn't off tennis. injured was he the cage he was out in the ground wasn't no, he no no he was still going through rotations really? mm. so uh, apart from that ten also to Stewie McCann eight kicks two handballs two marks fourteen in the end to Jack Skinner for half time ten kicks four handballs one mark he's been super in this first half really stood up the young fella but uh, those are the leading stats when it's to, to half time thanks to Steve Con boys doesn't matter who wins from here the premiership has been won by uh, Trish Mulhern yeah. with that jelly slice, Pete. That was, uh, that was yeah, elite. I'm spoiled, aren't oh, I? You are. You are no, no wonder I've got a big belly. <laughs> big, crowd happen- big crowd happening at the kick for in the back of the uke taking place at the moment. I, I don't know why they haven't named this uh, this thing they do every year, the kick for K and uh, uh, the Paul Dory kick for K because he's a back-to-back winner. And the yeah, shoot to loop. A bit disappointed he wasn't in the commercial for yeah, no. that much. But, but the thing time. is, though, that it was a joke about people not going into <laughs> greatness where Paul went into greatness from those kicks. <laughs> around the ground, thanks to Think Water, around the other legs as well. It's game on at the Reed Oval in the Hampton Football League preliminary final. North Warrnambool 5, 11, 41. Lead to Rang Mortlake 5, 3, 33. To Rang Mortlake kicking the opening goal of the third term in the GFL preliminary final at Leopold. 
And it's set Mary's leading by 10 points. They're 4 7 31 to the Lions, 3 3 21. And then the GDFL grand final between Inverley and Thompson. And Inverley are doing a number on them at the moment. And the 31 year premiership uh, drought could come to a close. They lead by 39 points at 8 1 49 to 1 4 10. But um, anyway, it's been, it's been a cracking first half. Game a bit of two halves, really, Big H, because him started the quarter of really, the game off in the first quarter really strongly. And then Alby showed a bit of authority in that second quarter. Yeah, I think uh, even in the first quarter, Elvi looked to have a fair bit of it in the first 10 minutes, but couldn't capitalise at this end. Uh, Imp's got a couple of quick inside 50s. Cal Spence got the job done. Uh, Elvi had definitely looked a better side for mm. mine overall. I think they're using the footy a lot better, uh, starting to get that run going. Maybe a little bit too dom-orientated inside forward 50, but, you know, good to see that, uh, you know, a couple of the smaller guys are starting to get to the feet and... They set up so well behind the footy too, so once they get it inside 50, it's very hard to bring it back out. And Imps have sort of been under the pressure and just sort of hack kicked it back out, and it's come back in twice as quick, hasn't it? So That first goal they got, it went straight up the corridor. It, was just, it wasn't run and carry, it was ball, finding a player loose, bang, 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 dom there, marks. Um, yeah, they, they have been. They, I feel like they're, really, they're a good side at sort of reading what's going on and then reacting to some of the movements that are... Paul Listro's done like last, you know, fortnight ago. They were getting slaughtered by, you know, Cunningham and Campbell Scott, and they started to nullify those blokes a bit. And Levi Dare, I think, was it half time? You said Levi needed a big, big game, and he came out yeah. in that big third quarter. That was the second quarter. Levi, he was, they were getting nullified. He was getting nullified a bit in that first quarter, but then he went into full Levi Dare mode, and uh, yeah, he was pretty good in that second term. Yeah, it's just so hard to match up on because yeah. you think he's going to jump. You know, almost sort of restrict you from jumping, and then he just he's he's got so many tricks yep. inside that centre circle. I mean, he said he died on the post game. He said he loves watching the players just jump over him, yeah. miss the ball, so he can just tap it. <laughs> yeah, and he belts it, doesn't he? Big he, and he, and he just, belts it, and he and he takes it cleanly. And well, got, he got a, got a couple of clean handballs yep. and sent sent him forward. Um, around the grounds, although Jack Skinner's had some possessions, I, I feel like he's just sort of hasn't got the same use out of his foot skills as mm. Levi has. Levi's been able to hit those 20, 30 metre kicks where Jack's just sort of trying to bomb it out of the yeah. area. And I yeah. Well, that's a player that's from, played for 20 years and the others, yeah, it's probably and, in his second year of senior footy. And that's, isn't it? that's been probably a little bit of a knock on, yeah. on Jack from the Falcons, I, I believe, is just his ball, ball use. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he's a 16-year-old kid, he's yeah. had a super year and to even think about pinning him up against a Levi, mm. Deer, a Levi Dare is a a yeah. Huge task. Huge yeah, task. You know. Those uh, grabs out of the uh, out of the ruck. Uh, yeah. That was uh, amazing. There that he delivers the ball so well and is so damaging when you can just get a clean takeaway like that. So that's what they've got to be aware of. He even grabbed the ball out of the ruck and broke a tackle there at one stage. So yeah, getting, the just, up, getting the wind up. Getting the wind up. Getting the wind up. Get the wind up. the whip out. Uh, that's right. Well, I just kicked the goal on the margins. Back to se- uh, back to twelve. Why not, Drew? Uh, yeah, take a break. Terrain, back back to the ball. Big second half coming up. Who's going to end the long premiership drought? Stick around, plenty more to find out here. Back with the third after the break. On Mix FM, this is CDFNL Live. Organise your next family feast at the East Hotel Colac. Every Thursday and Friday night, get schnitt-faced with their Parma specials with 11 varieties to choose from. Regular Parma, $20 and loaded varieties, 23 bucks. The East Hotel, Dalton Street, Colac. Thinking of a gap year next year? A gap year is a great opportunity to set up your career. Our gap year programs will give you the skills and experience that you need for your career goals. To find out more, contact Vic Group to discuss your gap year today. Victorian Group Training. Fennell West can help with all your financial planning and lending needs. With offices in Colac, Camperdown, Warrnambool and now Torquay. Find Fennell West on Facebook. Fennell West is an authorised representative of Consultant Financial Advisors. AFSL number 230323. Now at Harvey Norman, 10% off Miller Appliances plus five-year warranty. That's right. Upgrade to premium German-made Miele and save 10% off selected Miele washing machines and dryers plus five-year warranty. 10% off selected Miele dishwashers and cooking appliances and five-year warranty. Hurry, this huge offer is for a limited time. Don't miss out. 10% off Miele appliances plus five-year warranty. Now at Harvey Norman. Conditions and exclusions apply. Mowers are in stock and available now from Mark Benton Farm Machinery Repairs Simpson, your authorised Ferris and Victor dealer. 
Ferris and Victor Zero Turn mowers offer a smoother ride, delivered by two or four wheel independent suspension, together with a steel fabricated deck. Both brands are quality built and made in the USA. They also carry a range of belts and blades for other mower brands and stock a large range of four ply and six ply ATV and side by side tyres. Mark Benton Farm Machinery, 580 Sunday Ridge Road, Simpson. Your call is important. Please yeah, yeah. Your call is important. Please hold. <sighs> Oh, shut up. Wait, KFC are doing 24 nuggets for just 10 95 Shut up and take my money! Not everywhere, enough forever. Pick up early. Get your trailer repaired before heading off on holidays. Colac Hire has a range of parts. Plus, they can service and repair all kinds of trailers, like boat, car, horse boats, even caravans. Book now at Colac Hire, corner of Apollo Bay Road and Forest Street. Sports Power Colac has you covered this cricket season. Literally, they stock a huge range of protective gear, including helmets, which are now a must-have. Everything to suit juniors to seniors, from bats, balls, gloves and pads. Get set for cricket season with Sports Power Colac. Ag Warehouse Colic and Simpson are ramping up to grow as much homegrown feed as possible this season. By using their on-the-farm agronomist, you'll get the help you need with matching feed growth to your nutrient budget. Ag Warehouse Colic and Simpson can organise your bulk of eggs, bulk of bins, bulk and on-farm spreading of your fertilisers this season. Ag Warehouse Colic and Simpson. Give them a call to order your next fertiliser delivery today. The southwest is coming out of the shadows. The sky, opalescent blue. The clouds, crisp white linen. And the forests, a rich emerald green. So why shouldn't the outside of your home or business get out of the shadows too? Premium Group Painting can make faded exteriors a thing of the past. Rejuvenate your outdoor area to match the season. No matter the material, Premium Group Painting can paint it. Let your home or business stand tall against the elements. Contact Premium Group Painting today. Powered by KFC Colac, AKD Softwoods, Sports Power and Kelly Civil Construction. This is CDFNL Live. Well, there's a hundred kids in the back of the U here at the moment. It's the kick for a K. It's just finished here at the Central Reserve, and they haven't even bothered moving it yet. Third quarter just about to start so in the 2020. It's U, and they can't get it off because all these kids are on top. Yeah, Gary Ross is more in charge of all that. That's a 10-point margin to Elvie if you just joined us. If it's Slippy Four, driving, six, he's going to run over the Elvie <laughs> players, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> to 3, 2, 20. Yeah, Lippy's there. I, might, I reckon it's uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Twites or... Uh, Runner, really, that could have. Wouldn't that cause some mayhem? We start well, running over players. You start running straight into Le- Levi Derry. Yeah. Do, do a lot of damage to I'd his youth. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you, you would be split in half, and Levi will be rocking still. <laughs> Four six thirty. LB lead the Colac Imperials three two twenty. In the Agro Apple completed about 10, 15 minutes ago. It come down to a shot after the sign from Rachel Seabright. Getting the bombers a famous one goal with the LB thirty eight to thirty seven, and she won the best on court medal. And uh, no doubt her mother will be looking down and will be smiling from ear to ear. So that one's for her. That she'd be. So congratulations to her there as well. So second half about to get underway here. Third quarter, thanks to Sports Power. Carl, like Mondays is the best place to go to. Oh, Pete's and go Abel Harris. He's a bad and ship. Yeah, t- people here is throwing the toys out of the cot and says, stuff this, I'm out of here. Third quarter right away. Skinner got up here, but Levi there wins the tap down. Comes out to George Stephen. He's kicked towards the 50, bouncing footy. wisby has got the speed, picks up the footy nicely. This way, that away. 60 out, goes inside 50, but running well off the kick was Jacobs. And he takes the mark everywhere he goes. A premiership needs to go around his me- neck. True to the sports power throw to you. Yeah, sorry I wasn't here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100% was just, off yeah. on Monday now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Trish was the just outside the door, too. Wisby. They should go around and take his kick, surely. And the umpire said, yep. Everyone will be buying yeah. cricket bats Hand passed to, to the yeah, runner-up right. of the Marnie Campbell tennis. He's kicking oh. inside 50. Couldn't quite find Price. Mops up. Hand pass was well smothered. Goes some good pressure again. He lays a very good tackle on Mulder, but he got it high. Free kick to Elby. A let off there again. That was Tannis' first disposal since quarter time. There you go. Kick long by Mulder. Oh, he's oh, out. Here. He's out here too. And now uh, Danny Allen front spot, right time. Takes a really good mark. And he's got Jacobs inside. That's ignored. A former Max Gray medal winner. Beautiful ball to seal. Punched away by Theodore, but mops up his own work there. Kick over the top. Jenkins there with Cass. Unkind bounce to everybody. Favours Jacobs. 
Backtracks with a head pass to Seal. I've got around one easy. Humps to kick inside 50. Might have been touched off the boot. McCann coming through there. Uh, Lincoln there, crying at a contest. Lucas just humps to kick as far as he can, but it's gone too wide for him, and it's out of bounds on the full for a kick to Swans to be taken again by Paddy Seal. He's having a good grand final. What do the Cats have up their sleeve? They haven't scored. So we see Jacobs um, playing forward at the yeah, moment, does he? Or what's he doing? Well, he's got it here now on centre wing. Jacobs now kicks the centre inside the forward 50 link there. Couldn't take the mark. Cunningham's there. And Allen watches it go out of bounds. I said, Imps haven't scored since the first quarter. They led at quarter time by 18 points. It's been four goals to sip since then. It is the old premiership quarter. As the old fossils would say, Pete Mulheron next to me. Yeah, it's the premiership <laughs> quarter. Gee, the Simpson Thank reserves you. are enjoying themselves. They would. It comes out, they enjoy themselves even when they lose. Imagine nah, what they are like when they win. So Skinner, he's tackled with your ball up on the centre wing. It's funny, Jason Corder will put a post up there. Simpson will be going off tonight there, I reckon. <laughs> Levi there wins the tap out. He kicks the ball forward. Miragula up against Cunningham. Miragula trying to palm the ball when he gathers the football. Beautifully done. Hand pass though turned over. Tannis with the football. He's tackled. Hold the footy, says Wilbur Kerr. Free kick goes the way of Vale. And I tell you what, that is one of the most shortest hamstring injuries you've ever met, seen. <laughs> He's kicking out of centre half oh. forward. Link there couldn't take the mark. Oh. And it'll be another free kick to the Swans. He had his head ripped off the top of his shoulders. A little bit undisciplined of late. The Colac Imperials, he opened this second half of the grand final of 2023. So ball kicked inside the Ford 50. Link there's got Beautiful. the sit. Puts his mitts up, Matthew Richardson style, and takes a class over centre. Mark of the day. And he'll go back and try and kick his second goal Big of H. this grand final. Question for you, mate. This is not a worry, given the, the, the ball's been... It's going to fall a bit short, do you reckon? Oh, uh, yeah, he's probably right on his limit here, I'd say. I haven't had a goal kicked at the city end all afternoon. Oh, no. goal. His kick was a shank. What was that? Went straight in the hands of Theodore, and he will launch it out of defence for the Colac Imperials. That's a big kick. It's gone to the centre of the ground. George Stephen through his fingertips. Skinner got one high against uh, Jacobs, and he'll take a free kick in the centre of the ground here. I think that breeze has picked up a bit, boys. Uh, the kicks really seem to be holding up going to the city end. Here's a hand pass to the runner-up in Tannis. High kick towards the forward zone by Levi there underneath this one, but just got too much carry on that occasion there. So Banbury throwing to take place. Four minutes into this third term, thanks to Sports Power and Carl Lake. Monday's the best place to go, Yes, Pete. Monday's the day to go in there. Yep, yep. Trish will be in there to look oh, after you. All the cricket gear will be in there after after today. Yep, that's right. Uh, Sad, cricket season. depressing time of the <laughs> year, Pete. Yeah, Get in and see the cricket manager, Timmy. Yeah, it'd be better than what the Aussies did last night. And the, mm, oh, that was a heavy tackle, and the umpire did spot it. Yep. Free kick will go to, uh, to Albion, nearly said Sydney. Mm. There's a bit happening. Skinner, Permazel, Allen. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that was a little bit unnecessary. Three on one in this fight. Oh, oh. There's, a bit, there's a couple of let go there. One. Where's the emergency umpire? He's just sitting there not yeah, moving. He's still sitting here, boys. Oh, yeah. he's, he's still... Uh, that was a little bit clumsy, I reckon, because this game has been filmed like it has What year was it when Wilbur Kerr pretty much was umpiring? He was up and about. I think it was he did Simpson more... here at back. I reckon he did about 14 Ks, been the emergency umpire. He did more day. Ks than the three actual officiating umpires on the day. That's a strong mark oh. by Lincoln there. Nothing wrong with the ankle. Been Plus, really, really oh, good. I know with that last kick, there might have been yeah, something wrong with his ankle. He's going to go inside now. Oh, oh yeah, that was yeah. even worse. There is something wrong but with his might, ankle. But it might work, though. Allen, Danny, that is. Carmody, his hand pass was smothered. Well tackled by Sammy Lucas. Ball pin will get another What's ball. What's he up. doing down there, Big H? He's well, trying to kick the skin off the footy or something. No, I reckon it's just the ball drop, boys. Um, obviously, a long way down to his boot, and he's probably. Yeah, he's, he's not hitting him well. That wind After is that playing. goal, he kicked in the second corner. Too. That wind that, is playing funny back the breeze, right. though, that one. As uh, Lynch tackles Tar Cunningham, and we'll get another ball up here. Imps need a wriggle on, don't they? They're kicking with the scoring end. We've had all seven goals kicked at the Nick Hay Cricket Club end of the ground. As I was going to say Sydney then too, true. <laughs> was kicking to the City end. Here's a chance now for Benny Lynch. Hand pass looking for Felicos. Bit of a one-on-one -on -one battle here with Arnold. Comes out the Tannis. Tannis oh. kick was smothered. Dribbling ball. Carl's there as well. Oh. Kicked off the ground there by McCann. Oh. Ball down the middle of the ground. Wispy overruns the football. Here's a chance now for Mulder. Backwards hand pass to big Levi there. Oh. He's kicked, and finds Benny Lynch. 
Alan yeah. and Cam, uh, Cam Marnie were at it up on play too. Lynch finds Link there. What can he do? He kicks the ball. with a bit of a dribbler then again as well. But it's oh, found a bunch. teammate in uh, Danny Allen, class over centre, mark of the day. Speaking of players, is that a good grand final? This play. Yeah. Up there with the Pete Featherston medalist. Comes inbound. Oh. O'Shaughnessy takes the mark. This win is playing funny buggers in this third quarter. Luke O'Shaughnessy now sends the ball out of defensive 50 for the Colac and Pirils. Over the head of Allen. Arnold, the long sleeve cannons are there, but it comes out to Falikos. Oh, Here he goes oh, again. Puts ball on the ground. He puts it inside the Ford 50. Calm, and he couldn't take the mark or seal. Sorry, fist there by Theodore. And we have ball in right in front of the scoreboard here. No score yet in this third quarter. We've almost gone seven minutes. Thanks to Sports Power Colac. 4 6 30 Elvi. 3 2 20 the Colac Imperials. So the interchanges continue to work. Do have a get there at the moment. I'll be happy with the ball on that far side of the yep. ground, boys. Yep. And that's where the majority of the play has been in this third quarter so far. As we tick past the seven-minute mark. Link there. On the tap down. Theodore. Hand pass to McKenney. Smothered. He's smothered by Marnie. He's having a good grand final. Here he is again. Finds out a quick hand pass to Della Cruz. He ran into his own teammate. And he might have hurt himself in the process. Ball spills to the pocket. Allen. Hand pass over the top to seal. Snaps. Oh, good smother. Tommy Kyle. And through for a wash behind. Bit of a let off there. Margin 11 points. That's the first score of this third quarter in their favour. They lead by 11. 4 7 plays 3 2. Seven and a half gone third quarter here. The Cats need to kick the first goal. Otherwise, it might be tough going for them given with this uh, windy, tricky conditions. Stewie McCann return after a long battle with that hamstring. Kick towards the defensive 50. Keegan at the back. Good mark. No. Comes out to Garner. Garner just thumps to kick long up the line and it's out of bounds on the floor. Andre De Lorenzo nearly got a stat. And Joe Dan's going to get a stat. So Sammy Vale will take the free kick here. Right in front of Joe Dan. And it's going to be brought back. Ooh, what's happened there? I'm not sure. But, um... Hey, what? Dan the man William's got a mean tan going on at yeah. the moment. <laughs> I got one at Bloody Port Ferry last uh, oh, Sunday. Oh, really. The turn, yeah, it was, uh... It yeah, turned tan a bit loosely there, mate. Port, it was like 15 degrees, mate. Today's... You look looked like perfect. an Elvie jumper. Bit of windburn. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Vale. Hong kick inside 50. Link there's got the box seat there. Oh, Second mate. night. Stevens, Brady, that is. Boy, he had a hand on, in fact, Keegan. But Lincoln there... How did he get by himself like that? Yeah. Lazy defence there from the Cats. Well, he should have punched. And Lincoln yeah. there, well, the way he's kicked the last two, this is no certainty. But I think when it bounced up, he thought uh, he was going to grab the, get the mark, and he uh, continued instead of playing the defensive role. Kicked a ripping goal in the second. What's he like this time? That's better. Oh. That's a lot better. Lincoln there kicks a big goal. And it's a goal that I contend. He gets his second. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. First goal to that end in this entire game, and it's a very important one. Lekinez kicks his second. He becomes their first multiple goal kicker for Albie this afternoon. And they go up a handy 17-point buffer. They're 5 7 37. Carlick Imperials have got some work to do. They're 3 2 20. Nine and a half gone third quarter. Pete Mulheron have got some work to do now, the Cats. Yeah, look, Lincoln has been pretty prominent in this first 10 minutes of the um, of the quarter, and uh, that was another big mark. And he kicked this one a bit better than he's been kicking them earlier in the quarter. So that was a real dagger in the heart for him. He was having scored in a quarter and nine minutes so far, and Elvi go inside the Ford 50, kicking the last five goals. Patch couldn't take it. He's calm and he hand pass looking for Patch. Goes backwards, Seal got it over top to Mulder, through traffic, puts it back inside the 450. Stevens couldn't take the mark. Allen's lurking, that was Danny. Comes out to Stephen Cass, just thumps oh, the ball for territory. Well, lurk. Well, well, he's, he's, lurk. Lurk. he's got it! He's, he's, he's got him! Oh, Craig Kerr, what are you doing, son? You told me we'll never do it again. That, that was, was fair enough. That, that was, was fair enough. Great, oh, baby, he's that. going for territory. This is country football, no, not the no, AFL, was, Wilbur. Here's Mulder. Enough. He's kicked now to centre half forward. Dare couldn't take the mark. Carl's there as well. That was linked there on ground level. Allen, hand pass for territory again. Molo Della Cruz is there. Keegan there. Well, Lucas kicks towards the boundary again. Locking Molder, trying to gather it. He can't. 
And it just seems like now the Kayak Imperials are under immense pressure when they're trying to launch the ball out of defence. I agree with you, Pete. That was probably the right. That was the yeah, right yeah, call. Look, he had just, no one. To, he, had no, yeah. he was probably the only. It only went thing. 50 metres forward. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's deliberate. He, he panicked and, um, and and just kicked for the bear. There wins the tap out. Went straight to Cunningham. He's wrapped up in the tackle. Not holding the ball. Ball up between centre wing and half forward. You just got the sense that Al- Alvy's heat around the ball has yeah. been a lot better since quarter time. It has. That was something that lacked in that first quarter and since their quarter time it's just been outworked and they're in the contest. Dare wins the tap out comes to Cunningham Mulder punches it out of bounds. I tell you what sometimes you've got to uh, give credit to decision making whoever decided not to put that Australian flag on that flagpole this year <laughs> is an absolute genius and should be given the keys to the Central Reserve and Colac for the uh, remainder of the week. Yeah, I think that needs to be a retractable that, flag that flag got a lot of baking last <laughs> it's still year on the stream. It's still annoying. Yeah, I know. Yeah, George Stephen smothers the footy from a hand pass and goes short. That's a better ball. What can the Cats do here? This is Lukey Garner. He kicks up towards half four. Jared Foster's there. Got mitts to it. Good punch away by Permazel. Picked up by Morali, but a free kick's been picked out, and it's going to go to Jared Foster. Don't think, didn't see what Permazel did wrong there. Gets a hand pass to Stewie McCann. Gets a round one, and he's going to put the Cats into attack for the first time in this quarter. Rosevee there. Good against to it there for Callan Spence. And we'll get a boundary throw, and he did land it a little bit awkwardly there, Callan Spence. Mm. That breeze is obviously very difficult. You see both those players, H, they both seemed to misjudge that ball then, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they did. Um, as I say, it's very hard to read even at ground level, boys, so... Yeah. Cats think the next goal badly. That was this grand finals fastly slipping away. Boundary throw in here. Dare wins the tap, but Marnie's been superb. Just hacks to kick long, up to centre wing, Lincoln down underneath it. Got punched away. Coming through this time is Noel Allen. He's wrapped up in a very good tackle by Carmody. Ball pin will get another ball up. See Sammy Lucas being moved forward, two boys. Yep. Okay. Got to try something different, I suppose. Yep. So, so he stuck pretty rigid with his original lineup at the start yep. of this quarter. Yeah, so back at the front up, Skinner punches towards the 50. Lockie Mulder gets back. Foster Price and pressure, but Mulder was up to the task. He got around a couple with ease. He kicks the centre. It was a floating sort of a punt kick. Carmody oh, did good. really, really well on McCann. Got to go inboard over the head of Vale. Chance for LinkedIn to mop this up there. Well played. Hand pass to Sammy Vale. He's wrapped up by Noel Allen, but good enough to get the kick away, though. To centre half forward, Stevens. Oh, over the top, takes a class half a centre mark of the day. They're going to go out to centre wing here. Here's young Jared Foster. Caught what he should have taken. Ball still in dispute here on the wing. Good pressure being applied by Permazel. Chance in here for Theodore. He goes in board looking for Ostinano. Went over his head. Numbers hit with the Cats. Mick Foster. Hand pass to Garner. Pots it to the hot spot. Callum Spence is one on one. Got me still. Couldn't take the mark. He gets around a couple. Levi did, did brilliantly. Hand pass to Rosevier. Rosevier gets a hand pass away to oh, Delaware. Oh, got with afterwards. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a bit Back dirty. Here. Yeah, that, that wasn't good. I was no. going to say, great teamwork there by Levi and Lockie Rosie. That's just knowing your teammates in that battle. Yeah, Levi helped rock Lockie, but he got a uh, bit of a heavy hit straight after that handball. He's, okay. he's got back to his feet. Yeah. And he's okay. He's had a bit of a quiet granny, hasn't he, Rosevier? Well, he's had a he's had his hands playing, full with Cullen, deep, hasn't he? So he's yeah. playing the team role. So Rosevier. Backline for the Swans. They're holding that 17 point lead. They've kicked the last five goals oh. of this grand final. His kick wasn't good. Turned oh, over. Chancy now for uh, Arnold. Puts it inside the Ford 50. Bouncing, rolling. Oh. And they're going to get their first score since the first quarter. Remarkable stuff. They led by 18 points at quarter time, and that's their first course since. They're 3 3 21 to 5 7 31. It's gone 14 and a half minutes of this third quarter, this Sports Power third quarter here on Mix FM. 21 plays 20 37. That, that uh, incident there might be looked up by the MRO. The yeah, it was, cer- the it was certainly a late bump. Obviously, didn't get him in the head. That might be the only thing that uh, saves him. Big kick from Rose of here to centre wing. Ball off hands. Lynch on the front there. Spokes wrapped up there by Falikos. And we'll get another boundary throw in there. And yeah, we'll get a free kick there against Falikos because yeah, he was dealt was with it. over the boundary. That was a bit unnecessary as well. Yeah, so a bit of frustration creeping into this grand final at the moment. The Spokes goes short. Lucas oh, there. Well done, Della Cruz there. I did really well the young flea to Lynch. Back to Falikos. Got one in the back, I would have thought, but umpire misses it. Ball pin will get another ball up. 55 around from the Cats goal, who are peppering. But they just can't crack Elvis' defence. They've had almighty trouble in the last two games against them. It's Dare. very similar to that game early in the year, wasn't yeah. it? The yeah. back end of the year. Leave Dela Cruz to Parker. Breaks the tackle. 
Kick was well smothered, but in fact it's gone out of bounds on the full. Someone like a Campbell Scott right now that can yeah, break, can break the break lines a little bit. It's yeah. just the point of difference, isn't it? They just lacking that that guy that can just rip it out of the stoppage and spark him by yeah. kicking a couple of goals. Elvia just, their defence is just so wonderful. Here's a chance. Skinner got over the top, couldn't mark it. Spence getting back there likewise with Jacobs. Rosevier through the hands of Liam Mulder. Wisby's lurking again, but he ran out of, ter- uh, the, out of room. We've got a boundary throw in to take place. So this is a big couple of minutes coming up for the Cats. They need to score here. They try up by 16 points after leading well 18 at the first change. But since then, it's been Elvie on top. Boundary throw in. Uh, hang on, what's the umpire paid here? It's a free <laughs> kick. It's a nuts. No, is it going to Benny Lynch? It's going to Benny Lynch. Something okay. would happen around the contest. Did you see that, H? I didn't see it, boys. Yeah, no, either. Right. Hand pass to Rosevier. And he thumps the kick up towards centre wing. Seal's got a lead there. Good punch away by Theodore. And we'll get a boundary thrown here. You, you think Theodore's got the points on Paddy Seal? Yeah, don't you? you do because, uh, gee, he was good two weeks ago, Paddy Seal, wasn't he? But he mm. hasn't been quite able to clunk those marks above his head today. Sam Parker comes to the bench. Sam Big H is going to get some treat there, I reckon, on that yeah, knee. He just, yeah, he just looked like he got caught when he kicked around that corner of the far side there. So a boundary throwing centre wing, 16 point ball game. Levi there just palms at 40. Here's Micah Robb being one of the great stories of the 2023 season. Felikos runs out of tarmac by all up on the outer side wing where predominantly of that a lot of plays been had in that in this third quarter. 5-7-37 linked there with two goals for LV 3-3-21. Colac Imperials, Colin Spence, two goals for the Imperials. Levi there punches the ball 20 metres forward. Chance in the effort, Danny Allen's had a really good grand final, got it over top to Sam Marnie. Ben Lynch, he was tackled straight away oh, by Jeremy Spokes. That was silly. And, yep, it's going to be a no. free yeah. kick. Yeah. He pointed the wrong way. I was wondering what it was against him for. That's just stupid. Yeah. yeah, the ball was out Dumping, of bounds. Dumping uh, tackle there by Jeremy Spokes. is a little bit too much on it. So, Benny Lynch, as I said, watched his former side win the premiership last year. Just might have a can on the uh, Premiership medal at the moment. Here's a chance now for O'Shaughnessy. Stolen by Danny Allen. Puts it inside the 450. Oh. There's a player loose. Is it Seal? This way, that way. Has to get out of one. Oh. Has to get out of two. Hair passes the car. Oh. There's a first air shot. Hole in the footy. Darcy oh. Theodore. That was a big tackle. Can it be an aspiring tackle for the Kylak Imperials? Should have had a shot. Should have been Paddy a goal Seal. there by Paddy Seal. He's oh. kicked out of defence and he finds Jack Skinner. Skinner. Skinner now yeah, plays on through oh, the corner of the central play, reserve. Too. He puts it on inside the Ford 50. Rosevier couldn't take the mark. Here's a chance there for Jet Price. Snap around the body. Bouncing, oh. bouncing through from behind. That was probably the best ball movement by the Colac Imperial since that opening quarter. They got it end to end. They get a point. 3 4 22. LV 5 7 37. 18, almost 19 minutes gone on this Sports Power Colac third quarter on CDFNL Live on Mix FM. Man, uh, there was a fair bit happening off the footy as well with Steve and Brody Steve and Danny Allen having a bit of an altercation. So Rosevier brings the ball back in and just thumps the kick to centre wing. Numbers got with here now. Spalikos. Jeez, he's had been a great grand final. You're right. And he just takes it out of ro- too much room there. We've got a boundary throw oh, in. He's the early favourite yeah. for the Norms <laughs> with Peter Featherston medal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, around the grand three-quarter time in the re- in the prelim final, the hand leg at Warnable and North Warnable looks like going to be in another grand final. They lead by 30 points over Terang Mortlake. 9-13, plays 5-7. Thrown in again. Levi Dare punches the ball forward. 19 and a half gone, third term. Here's Della Cruz. Hand pass to Vale. <coughs> vale kicks it long inside to 50, but not a great kick. O'Shaughnessy mm-hmm. underneath it. And he's taking the mark. He's going to go in oh, board here. going to be opened up on the way and back here's here. here's Mick Foster. He's got Noel on that other side if he wants. Need to move it quickly. They do, but they'll be quick to to lock it in. Allen has to be good here. Did really well. Good grab in front of Dela Cruz. Class Harvest centre mark of the day. He has to get it inside 50 quick, which he does. Kicks towards the forward pocket. Callan Spence has to get there, but that wind like it has done so many times this afternoon has played a real factor. Do you reckon the two coaches, when they, you know, Paul Listro said he had sleepless nights, you dream about what's going to happen? Do you reckon this has been in the uh, the script for either coach? No. It's been a frustrating <laughs> game, wouldn't well, it, well, to so coach? Yeah, it would be a frustrating game to coach. I mean, conditions like this, wind is worse than rain, to be honest. Yeah, I agree with you there. At least it's, it's sunny, though, Pete. At least it's, it's sunny. sunny. We're yeah. in the time under the third quarter, the premiership quarter. 
Elby with the only goal in this quarter. They lead by 15 points after trailing by 18 early in the second quarter. Felikos again. Dispossessed there with Arnold. He wants to deliver, but I don't know what he's appealing to. Tell you what, Lawn had the uh, the kick against the Breeze back in 2018. We all thought they were all gone at three quarter time. I think they'll neck and neck with Birigar. It was a heavy Breeze going to the uh, DK Cricket Club end, but they end up kicking three goals in the last quarter to win the premiership. So, you know, things can turn in the last quarter oh, of a grand final. Yeah, but they haven't right. kicked the goal for two quarters. They especially. haven't. No, we saw Irrawarra be active at one day at Elvi. Oh, yeah, 10 weeks ago. No. What's happening? Dan Williams has paid a ticky touch with free kick. I thought Levi Dare did a really good job there. You got rid of Sammy Lucas, and a free kick has gone to him. Ticky oh. touch would have best. So he's gone short. Oh. Not sure that was the right option. Well done. I think it was Permazel. It was. Great. Bad play. throw in. Brave play there for Why wouldn't you go back and have a shot? Yeah. Oh, man, would have kicked it, wouldn't it? Gee, that yeah, was, yeah. It just makes you wonder whether his foot's, yeah. you know, whether his leg's right, whether yeah. he's got the distance in him. But anyway. Yeah. So we've gone 21, almost 22 minutes in this third quarter. Boundary throwing the Colac and Perry's forward 50. Haven't scored a goal since the first quarter when they had an 18-point lead at quarter time. Felikos tackled by Price. And it'll be a ball up 55 metres out from goal. It's 5-7-37-3-4-22. 15 points the margin. Only one goal kick so far. That don't be, that might be a lot of time, I don't think. And this third quarter was by Link Dare. Snagged his second. Well, we should have had a couple. He really uh, kicked one like a cow with a cup of tea. Drew, you got that lawn you could have used. But one for the bingo card, Emily. <laughs> Here's a chance now for Tannis. Spence, hand pass backwards. Allen, snaps, high. Top of the goal square. Garner's there. Couldn't take the mark. Lurking his wispy. Here's a chance. Foster. Tackle on ground level. Right forward pocket will be a ball up. Gee, the, Elvie's back on since quarter. Yeah, oh, has. Have been outstanding. It's been one of the great recruits, hasn't he, Will Jacobs? Yep. Rosevear just lets Rosevear free up. Lucas in the ruck. Foster almost grabbed it and kicked it. Chancy now for Allen. Kick was smothered. Tannis. Danny Allen. Oh. Free kick's going to go to the Swans. And it's going to go to Lockie Rosevier. Has He's he had... really come about in this Way third quarter. Wing. His last 10 minutes especially. That's a beautiful kick. Dela Cruz has to compete, which he did against a couple of cats, but he wins the oh, football. Well, well played to Allen. Allen just an end to win ball up towards half forward. Shocking best for Shaughnessy. Carmody goes towards the 50. Tom Cale getting back. Goes oh. to the ground. Dom Dela Walsh in, and that hurts. Gee, that hurts. Dom there kicks goal number two. And that's a big moment in this grand final. And they get a handy break of 21 points. 6-7 to 3-4. And it's Elvis Premiership to lose. They're first since 2000, people, Aaron. Yeah, look, they, uh, they've they done some damage on the scoreboard at the, uh, against the breeze here, so it's going to be tough. But great play from Carmody there. Gee, he's a good ball handler, isn't he? He's clean. He's had a great grand final yeah, too. and uh, young Carl was very unlucky there. He'd done, he actually had had the best position, but uh, the ball just carried a little bit long and he grand couldn't... Grand final pressure. Yeah, he just could not quite hold the mark and uh, allowed Dom in for an easy goal. Game high, 21 points the margin here at the Central Reserve. Here's Vale... Hand pass forward, Allen, Benny Lynch, kick was smothered, chance now for Mulder. Mulder puts the Swans back inside the 450, Mulder. Keegan, good mark in defence. Got the hand pass over top to Stewie McCann, kick down the centre win. Wispy had the sit, couldn't take the mark, good there by Miragula. Got it to Liam Mulder, got it over top to Lockie Mulder, kicked inside the 450 for LV. Couldn't take the mark there with Seal. Hand passes to Jenkin. Good pressure there by McCann. Overruns it was, Jen it was Tannis. Gathers the football. Good tackle there by Benny Lynch. Ball up in front of the old grandstand here at the Central Reserve. Gee, those two molders boys have yeah. uh, added something to Elvie, haven't they? Lock you last year, Liam, this year. Yeah. They've been great pickups. Is that small, small back? Just what, what they needed. Yeah. Levi there wins the tap out. Chancy now for... Uh, Oh, oh, Alan, he's got it out of bounds, so boundary throwing. So it's been six goals to nothing since quarter time in favour of the minor premiers. Elvie, they've been minor premiers the last three years. They're in the box seat. They are. 21 points they lead. I reckon that's going to be the three-quarter time siren soon. Marnie's tackled, ball up on the 50. There it is. So at three-quarter time in the City of Fennell 2023 decider, Elvie. 6 7 43. They lead the Colac Imperials 3 4 22.
Link there and Dom there have kicked two goals each for the Swans, while Callum Spence, who's kicked two goals for the Colac Imperials. Big H just before we wind up at three-quarter time break. Yeah, boys, obviously, Elvi, you know, dominated that quarter. They, they, they were happy for the ball to be played on the out, outer side of the ground. When they went forward, they pretty much went to link there every time, and he gave them a, a, a fantastic contest, had the crummers at his feet, lucky enough to kick one himself, and then got a late goal there. They've just used the ball a lot better. They've, you know, they're, they're well structured behind the footy. Uh, the back six has been fantastic, so... One more quarter, boys. I'd say it's probably yep. theirs, theirs now. Yeah, it's theirs to lose. There, how you go? Yeah. You're right. We'll take a break. Back with the KFC car like last quarter for 2023. 20, well, Elby's 23 year premiership drought is set to win. Or can the Carlock Imperials, who haven't kicked a goal since the 16 minute mark of the first quarter, and snatch an unlikely victory? Back with that to find out after the break here for the final term of the 2023 season. <laughs> Mix FM, this is CDFNL Live. It was our very own Aussie muscle car, and just mentioning its name still evokes plenty of great memories. If you like your motoring with a dash of spice and a howling V8, this November you can see iconic Monaros at the 7th Victorian Monaro State Titles at Kings Park in Seymour. Full details are at monaroclubvic.com.au and non-Monaros are welcome to display on the day. The Monaro State Titles, proudly supported by Mix FM. Using tank water in your home? Are you concerned about the water quality? With a PureTech Hybrid G250 filtration system from Thinkwater Colac, you'll know that your filter system with UV technology is eliminating 99% of bacteria along with any sediment, taste and odour. If you buy a filter system now, you'll receive a free maintenance kit worth $730 to go with it. Look after yourself and your family with PureTech and Thinkwater Colac. Thinkwater, Murray Street, Colac. Getting into the property market can be daunting, so it's imperative to choose an agent you can trust. At Richardson's Real Estate, trust is at the core of their values and at the forefront of their decision making. When looking to buy, sell or lease, choose Colac's most trusted opinion, Richardson's Real Estate. Mowers are in stock and available now from Mark Benton Farm Machinery Repairs Simpson, your authorised Ferris and Victor dealer. Ferris and Victor Zero Turn Mowers offer a smoother ride, delivered by two or four wheel independent suspension, together with a steel fabricated deck. Both brands are quality built and made in the USA. They also carry a range of belts and blades for other mower brands and stock a large range of four ply and six ply ATV and side by side tyres. Mark Benton Farm Machinery, 580 Sunday Ridge Road, Simpson. Greg Allen Farm Machinery, your Western District dealer for Voltra tractors, as well as Samaz hay and silage gear. Samaz triple set mowers can mow 9.4 metres at once. That's a lot less fuel and less kilometres being racked up on your tractor. Greg Allen Farm Machinery also specialise in the finished Voltra tractors. These customisable machines allow you to design right down to the colour of the rims. Find Greg Allen Farm Machinery in Colac and Hamilton or online at gafm.com.au. Opportunity, growth and stability. That's what AKD gives locals a chance for a fresh start at a leading local organisation. Offering four-day working weeks between Monday and Friday, a shift pattern that may suit your lifestyle and the ability to progress your career. AKD has a range of different options available, including machine operators, forklift drivers, truck drivers and more. So why not set yourself up with a position at Australia's largest sawmill business, AKD. For more info, visit akd.com.au. Let Colac Hire set you up for spring. Hire a rotary hoe to level and prepare your lawns or hire the stump grinder to undercut unsightly or dangerous tree stumps. There's a machine for every job. Colac Hire, corner of Apollo Bay Road and Forest Street. Fennell West can help with all your financial planning and lending needs. With offices in Colac, Camperdown, Warrnambool and now Torquay. Find Fennell West on Facebook. Fennell West is an authorised representative of Consultant Financial Advisors. AFSL number 230323. Your call is important, please. Yeah, yeah. Your call is important, please. Oh. Your call is important, oh, please. Shut up. Wait. Your call- KFC are doing 24 nuggets for just 10 95 Shut up and take my money! Not everywhere, enough forever. Pick up early. The Ball and Chain at home in Simpson for over 50 years. They can cater for your next function, from the birthday to an engagement or just a small family get together. Just make sure you book early to avoid disappointment. The Ball and Chain open every Wednesday to Sunday. Search Ball and Chain Simpson on Facebook. G'day. 
Barry here from Colac. I've been with Roderick Insurance Brokers for over 10 years. They've always looked after our insurance, from the farm equipment and business to our home and cars. Give them a call so they can look after you too. Roderick Insurance Brokers. Right advice, right decision. Powered by KFC Colac, AKD Softwoods, Sports Power and Kelly Civil Construction. This is CDFNL Live. One quarter to play in 2023, and it's Elby's to lose. They lead by 21 points against the Carlock Imperials. Quick step on stats, AJ. 22 to Danny Allen on the Elby side of things. Uh, 16 to Jack Skinner on the Imperials side of things. Hey, Danny, on the boundary just quickly. Yeah, obviously, uh, Joe just want, implored him to go one more quarter. They're winning one-on-one -on -one contests. They're putting their head over the footy. They're tackling hard on the other side. Paul Listrow wants him to run and carry. Wants that overlap run coming from behind. Handball receives, and they've got to take the game on and... Yeah, leave everything out here. Leah Paldron in front of the GFL preliminary final up by two points against Seth Bar uh, Seth Marys and Inverlee doing leading by 38 points over Thompson. Well, early today in the A grade netball, it was Irora back, turned the tables from 12 months ago. Uh, they defeated Albie by one goal, thanks to a shot from Rachel Seabright on the siren, and she win the, won the best on court medal. KOC Carlick last quarter of the 2023 season. It's Elvis in the jock in the box seat. They lead by 21 points. Can they win their, their 23 year premiership drought? Or can the Ems come from cut the clouds and snatch an unlikely victory? They've gone to half four there for Lee Cost. Brilliant again, like he's done all day. Jacobs comes away with a football here with a burn pass to Permazel. Permazel's kick is a high up and under kick, but it might go around the full, will it? Just bounced inside the field of play. We'll get a boundary thrown on centre wing. Hey, Flea Kalak, last quarter 24 nuggets for 10.95, or if you see Nicky. 48 nuggets for 22 <laughs> bucks. Uh, yeah, Leaky McClellan, the president, pretty relaxed at the moment, as you would be. His side's on the cusp of ending a 23-year drought. One of the great interviews on Good Friday with big Luke oh. McClellan. He almost fell asleep interviewing him, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, ball pin, get a ball. I think he was involved in their last group final, wasn't he? Yeah, I think yeah. Levi said he was playing with him. Yeah, that's right. Three five twenty three to two four sixteen. Forest defeated Elvi in that two thousand and five grand final. Yeah, that was a grand. Was cup was only a blade of grass on it. Mould up over the top of George Stephen and Stephen will win himself a free kick. Free kick will go to him on centre wing here. The cat's been a bit quiet since quarter time, hasn't he, George Stephen? Since he mm, changed from the long sleeve to the short sleeve. It was best on ground in the tw uh, he won that he played in a premiership oh. in twenty nine. That kick was a bit of a, a wonky sort of a pass. Lucas tried to come and do it as well. He he doesn't look right to me, Sammy Lucas. The ball kicked to centre wing though. Allen underneath it, rave around of him. Taken by by Lincoln there. Kicks inside the Ford fifty. It's a bouncing footy here. Picked up by Carmody. Quick hand pass again to Jenkin on the fifty. He's immediately wrapped up by Arnold. I reckon he's going to give him a bit of it out. Well, umpired Craig Kerr will get a ball up there. The top, the three umpires, boys. No, I think they've been, yeah, they've been fantastic today. Oh, besides correct. that deliberate one, they will be. Oh, that, that was, was the right decision. decision. Correct decision. Kicked that, it 100 metres forward and he played it deliberate. Yeah, that was Lincoln. Punches the ball forward and Seal happy to let it go over and we'll get a boundary throw in. So, two minutes gone in this KFC Carlick last quarter of what has been a fantastic season. And it looks like the minor premiers who been on the top of the ladder for the last three or four years are uh, just minutes away from ending they're winning their first flag in since 2000 maxi skinner tried to push big uh, link there out of the ruck there here's a chance now for molder sold a bit of candy there not lincoln dare style from the second quarter but he got the the job done he's mccann he got tackled molder's kick was smothered theodore tackled there by carmody Underrated grand final performance by Harry Carmody. Yeah, Not like huge on the stats, but gee, he's had a big influence in inside that Ford 50 for the Swans. Bubba Kerr throws the ball back up again. Skinner hits the ball forward. Here's a chance now again for Mulder. Comes out and he had a link there. He's tackled by Skinner. He gets out of a tackler and he sends the ball high. Very high. Might bring back a bit of snow. Seal couldn't take the mark. He's miraculous. Left forward pocket. Got it to Seal. This way, that oh, way. No, he oh, ran out of time, mate. Oh, too much room. Oh. Oh. Where's the theatre? The umpire yeah. ruined the day. Where's the theatre? Bloody umpires, <laughs> eh? And Leaky Miraglia's dad, mum and dad are li listening to us over in Italy today. Oh, gee. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Yeah. Smashing down a bit of pasta and pizza. Yeah. So you, Good afternoon, those listening. Your son's on the cut. The Eiffel Tower in the background. Link there. Wins the tap out. Comes out to uh, McCann. Here's Theodore. Thump and kick out of defensive 50. Yeah. But for Likos, the Peter Featherston medalist, I reckon, yeah. has been super. 
And he's taken the mark. He bangs the ball back inside the Ford 50 for the Swans. Dare couldn't take the mark. Free kick to, yeah, the, free free kick kick to the Imperials. G, they need to get a wriggle on. Nice. Three, almost four minutes gone in this KFC Colac last quarter. It's a 21-point margin in favour of Elvi. Kyle, a thumbs a long kick up to centre wing there. All numbers with Elvi. It's a bouncing football day, luckily for him. And we'll get a boundary throw. No, it's still in play. Here's Mick Foster. Goes inside 50. Not a great ball. Underneath it, Mulder punched the ball away. Vale gets back. He's wrapped up by Wisby. Hand pass. Parker was a good one. To Levi there. Did he take him on? No. We'll get a ball up. 45 around from the Colac Imperials goalie. And Mulder's a little bit uh, ginger. Great story with him. And Michael Robin, the Colac Herald during the week. Two best mates. Almost on the verge of winning a premiership together as George Stephen wins himself a free kick. 50 metres out from goal. Callan Spence is deep. He's going to go around back around the mark again. Again, they're set up well behind the ball here, yeah. Elby. So he's going to show short. Mick Foster. No, it's coming back again. <laughs> Play it again, Sam. Take three. Take three here for George Stephen. 50 metres out here. It's perfectly for Elby because they just set up, don't they? Yeah. Set up beautifully. Yeah. The way they've set it up this afternoon, Elvie, have been nothing short of brilliant. So he's going to put a long kick towards the forward pocket. Callan Spence got up high, almost brought down the mark. And ball still in play. Parker just has to kick forward, oh, and here he is again. Oh Dean oh. Felikos. Has he been unbelievable today? And he's gone the up. So what, a, what sort of, oh, that's um, a weird sort of a kick. That's the upcountry punt. <laughs> yeah, I reckon it was there, uh, Pete. Dean Felicos, Pam Felicos special. Yeah. The name of pizza after that. Uh, Moralia, kick he's kicked off line and it's stayed in play. Patch, back it goes again to, uh, to Dare. Might have just run a too much room there. Well, as I said, in his last grand final, he played back in 2019 for Colac. He was famous for the kicking the ball on the ground to try and get it. Colac out of the defensive 50. Hit the... Uh, the field umpire ricocheted and uh, the rest is history. Nick Connors kicks the goal with a second left and St Mary's oh. win the premiership. So a little bit of vindication here for Dean Felikos. Here's Mulder. He's going to switch it backwards to Jake oh, Jacobs. Oh, oh, Jacobs oh, almost took it. He's going to take it. Class over seven mark of the day to Wilk Jacobs. That was a beauty. Leo Barry style in the Swans jersey as well. Here's a chance now for Chris Patch. This way, that way, through traffic. Going out to Cass, hand pass, Stevens, fist it forward. But it's going to be a downfield free kick to the Colac Imperials. Yeah. Where is it going to be taken? It's uh, going to I be... think it's down the ground, I'd say. Oh, uh, it's coming back. No, uh, it's Cunningham. Oh, it's so Cunningham. Cunningham in the middle of the ground. Stuart McCann's okay. They're stagnant at the moment. they just not got their running game going. See how we get Action, set up, Jack Pack Skinner, just outside the 50. Kicks. Looking for a teammate. Oh, Steven! Oh, no. no. Hasn't taken the mark. Here's Spence. Ground level free kick Alvey. to Alvey mm. in the defensive 50 yet again. Their back line just stands up time and time again. He's and here is the old time. Jacobs, hasn't he? Oh. Yeah. But this is... Every time he goes to a club, they just seem to win a premiership, don't they? One and so... one at Waterbull, one and one at Bowen Heads, and he's going to nearly win one at Alvey, I reckon. Jacobs sends out a defensive 50 and Levi. Oh. Do you reckon these guys are now just going through the motions? Well, I feel like the fatigue is setting. Yeah. You see him coming to the bench now, yeah. and they're really puffing and blowing for Levi most now, sides, looking for they? seal. They just want to knock out blow here, don't they? Probably I see Andre De Lorenzo coming off there. He looks absolutely spent. Tannis goes inbound to McCann. McCann now kicks the centre-half forward. That's better. Finds a teammate here. Sammy Lucas. And Lucas... Bangs it back inside oh, the 450. There is a player loose. And it's Mick Foster. Can he kick the hips first goal? Since quarter time, he here passes over the head and finds Jet Price. There you go. Who puts a small, small pulse back into this grand final. He kicks a goal with a contender. Bit of a lull there. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. Eight minutes gone. KFC Colac last quarter. 4 4 28. The Colac Imperials. LV 6 7 43. And that was a big goal by Jet Price. Big H on the boundary. Yeah, they definitely needed that, boys. Um, did come out of really nothing, though, didn't it? Sort of almost like Elvie just sort of switched off for a little bit and they were able to hit one out the back door there. So uh, they need one in the next five, I reckon. First goal in over in at least 70 minutes of footy. Back in the middle we go. Lockie Mulder locks up in a good ta- locked up in a good tackle by Bailey Kale. And we'll get a ball up here. So the Cats need to go next to the next one here. Oh, as things gets a little bit more tense. One down. Lynch dealt with. No free kick. Comes out now to Allen. 
Good handball to Michael Robb. He comes up towards half four. Good oh, mark. Great mark. That's a great grab by Clay Jenkins. Had absolutely no right to mark that. And again, he's had a great grab, yeah, he has. hasn't he? Clay yeah. Jenkins. As it's 65 metres out. Thumps to kick to the hot spot. Lincoln Dares in the press position. And got it, I think, no. Ball spills to the front here. Theodore. Oh, this way, that away. Wow. Nice bit of dance moves, yeah. too. Kicks towards the half-back zone. Dela Cruz gets back. Well played by Stephen here. Just hacks to kick forward up towards the line. Half-forward flank. Jacobs is in best position here against Lucas. Jacobs, well played. Hand pass back to Permazel. Oh. Hand pass straight to the arms of Lucas. He got one high. No, according to the umpire. Everybody stopped. Permazel back it goes to Parker. Parker chipping ball is a good one. Finds Benny Leach. He quickly plays on his Falakos. Been the best on ground, I reckon. He has the footy on centre wing. Sammy Lucas was unlucky not to get yep. a kick there. Yep, umpires have been consistent all day there, Pete. Ball's gone towards half full. No mark taken. Ball pin, ball up. Approaching the 10-minute mark of the last quarter. It's a 15-point lead to Alvi. The Cats with their first goal this last quarter. If they get the next one, nerves start to settle in. Can he sub, uh, sub uh, Mitch Thornton on? <laughs> After his role to Delvey early in the year, ball kicked inside the Ford 50. Carmody couldn't take the mark. And we get a boundary throwing on in front of the uh, Mix FM car. The Ute there, who's sitting on the top there? Is that Twitter? Uh, I don't know who that is. Well, I think it will be. Yep, boundary throwing 40 metres out from the Swans goal. They get the next one. They win the premiership, Alvey. Or they seal it. Yeah, it's Jimmy Twaits. Dare wins the tap out. Here's a chance now through... Seal comes out the link there. Kick was ricocheted. Still a chance now for Carmody. Hand pass looking for Jenkins. Couldn't go to the football. Oh, no. There's there as well. No free kick. Umpires put the whistle in the back pocket. Ball up almost to the top of the goal square. That will be kicking to the Nick Hay Cricket Club end of the ground. Is the evener up? A link was a bit unlucky there too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the lad thing is, Pete, the umpire's been consistent they have been all consistent, day. You yeah. haven't really noticed them too much. No. Ball up 15 metres out from the Swans goal. Link there wins a tap out. Kick was smothered. Chance in now for Allen, I think it is. Trying to get out of that stoppage there. Benny Lynch is hunting for the football as well. Keegan's there. Theodore's there. Right forward pocket. Bold up. The ball and it's well. going to be a ball up again in the right yeah, forward pocket. It's on again. Yeah. MMA style. It was all happening in Sydney. Yeah. But last oh. week, but it's happening in Colac. Benny Tate says, nut buggy is all. I'm going to throw the footy up here. Here's a chance now oh. to... Was it Lynch? It's going to be a free kick. Got to be a free kick. Or a ball up again. Benny Tate's been quick to just hurry up and play yeah, on. Yeah, that'll be free kick. It is. It's a Swans free kick. Oh, he's down too. Yeah. yeah the bet. Where's the emergency umpire? Frustrations yeah. are getting involved yeah. here. You're going it is, there, and they're all out there at the moment. Permacel, Levi there. They're into Brody Stevens. There is a Swans player down. Big H, can you see who it is? I believe it's Clay Jenkins. Yep. Yeah, he yeah. caught one here. I didn't, yeah, not a lot of He's been brave all day, Clay Jenkins. He's really put his body in. Yeah, Stewie yeah. McCann's absolutely knackered, boys. He's gone to the bench. He, he, he is absolutely exhausted. So, so Jenkins is up. He looks a little bit wobbly, though. AJ, Danny Allen, he's having a great game too, isn't he? He hasn't got a mic oh, on. Oh, no though, mic. <laughs> Clang of the day there, Pete Mulherry. <laughs> uh, no, no. No, no, Drew's got that in the bag. Oh, hang on a minute. Don't stitch me up there. <laughs> so <laughs> Jenkins going off. He won't take the kick. The dogs are fighting over who's taking yeah, it. Yeah, Levi <laughs> and Lincoln have had a rock, paper, scissors battle, and Lincoln there oh, has re- won it. I reckon I'd give it to Levi. <laughs> Although Link did kick a good goal, but he, he's had a couple of uh, shockers today too, hasn't he's he, on top of Two that. goals. So far this afternoon, this for the Premiership, Lincoln there, he goes back. Oh, oh no! He's done a Bailey Fritch! What Sorry, is... Big H, he shanked it, he's kicked it straight into a... It's just snuck through for a behind. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? 6 8 44 Alvey. they leave the door ajar for the Colac Imperials, 4 4 28. And this might trigger Big H, but Carlton were in the similar position last night. Drew Boy, we've got yep. gone 13 minutes in this KFC Colac last quarter. No, Allen tried the torpedo oh. punt kick, but he had to try something. And the mark taken by Danny Allen, he's been told to play on. Goes inside, 50, here's Chris Patch. Oh, seal no, here's a chance for Link. Della Cruz, kick was partly smelled off the boot. Here's a chance for Tommy Kyle, and he just thumps the kick. That's a bit of a helicopter sort of a kick. But it's oh, is it deliberate? Is it deliberate? Oh, is it deliberate? Come on. Oh, he's played it. No, he hasn't. <laughs> Bandry throwing, mate. <laughs> oh, my chuck my uh, binoculars if he did. Oh. 25 points in favour of North Warnable in the Handle League Prelim Final. Leopold lead by eight against Set Merritt. Now, Nathan two Vardy's still playing at North Warnable? Yeah, he, he played last week. 
Oh. Yeah, coming in there, a bit rough there. Free kick will go to Albie. I have been very undisciplined this second yeah. half, haven't they, the Imperials? Giving away some crucial... I know they're trying to be, you know, a bit rough with Alvi, the senior boys, but they've just given away some stupid free kicks. Yeah, 44 yeah. points in, 43 points in Inverley's favour at the moment. So, Levi's there. Oh, what's he going to do? He's going to go for the barrel here, big Levi. Yeah. Wouldn't you enjoy this moment? Oh, I reckon it's a little bit out of Levi's oh, range. Oh, this is for the nine-pointer. This to seal the game for Alvi. Levi there, yeah, last year's Marnie medalist. What's he going to do? He's having a crack from downtown. Oh, no. It's going. It's going. It's gone through from behind. No, big pack around this one here. Chancy now. Danny Allen. Danny Allen's lurking, trying to get the ball there with Seal. He's wrapped up left forward pocket. And it'll be a ball up. 44 plays, 28. 16 points to the margin. 14 and a half gone. KFC Colac hasn't been the uh, the finger licking good last quarter at the moment. There. Chance. Goal! Who's kicked the sealer? How are we going to win anyway? I don't know. I don't know. It was Seal, boys. It was Seal. And, seal. and seal seals the game for the Swans. <laughs> They're going to be the 2023 Premiers. It's a goal and a contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. A goal from absolutely nothing in that stoppage there. And Alvi are going to win the 2023 Premiership. They lead by 22 points in this KFC Colac last quarter. 7 8 50 to 4 4 28. Greg Allen, Farm and Scenery scoreboard. Pete Mulheron, a former Alvi Arian, is <laughs> up and about. He's going to. I reckon you got a Swans jersey underneath that no, uh, top, don't you? No, no. No, definitely not. No, uh, look, there was a lot of ball, uh, play around, uh, players around that ball then, and I didn't actually see what happened. So, uh, <laughs> Albie got a goal. Someone so I have to rely on H to tell me what happened there. Yeah, free kick will go to the Carlock Imperials, and it's going to go to Jack Skinner. He's worked his backside on off afternoon. Kicks inside 50. That's a bad kick. And Sam Parker comes in and takes oh. an easy intercept mark. AJ's frothing now. Oh, Albie one at... goal away from it. Oh, oh, no. Here's a chance there for Jacobs, trying to pick up the footy. Arnold harasses him, did really well out of it. Felikos, Arnold, Stephen, Ben quiet since quarter time. It's Cass just has to kick forward. It's a shocking bounce for everybody. Permazel, he's immediately wrapped up. Here's a chance for Spokes. Quick check side kick. Mm. Offline. In fact, it's missed a lot. Out of bounds on the full. So Elvia 7 8, Drew. That's right. One goal away from 8 yeah. 8. Yeah, I get that. AJ's lurking. He's gone from jeans to shorts. Yeah. Last five minutes. Rosevy is going to lift the Premiership Cup in the next 20 minutes as the kick is long. Nice uh, mark well there marked Brody by Brody Stevens. Stevens. He marks it. 34 players inside their forward half at the moment. Kick there. Garner comes in. Got my taken there. Here's a chance for Parker. Parker's kicked up the line. Michael Robb got the best. Got a shocking bounce, though. Seagulls invaded the century. Yeah, they? I thought at the I've MCG. everything now. <laughs> Bale, hand champ pass to Michael Robb. Hand pass away was well cut off by O'Shaughnessy. Oh, he goes again. Bale. Vale is going to have tackled over the line by O'Shaughnessy. And we'll get a boundary thrown. And Joe Dare gets another stat. <laughs> boundary thrown. He's about to become a premiership coach. He's been a bull in there today, um, Sammy Vale, hasn't he? Yeah. Around that set contest. What a, what a pick up. He's been over the yeah. last 12 months. Yeah. So boundary throwing here. Took his time to get used to CD for now. 40, didn't he? But yeah, he's he was com year. coming back off a knee Rico. Yeah. To... Levi Dare's kick. Good mark again, Danny Allen. Danny Allen's got the footy. Danny Allen there has the footy now in centre wing. Thumps the kick up the line towards half forward. Bouncing footy, uh, long kick up the line. It's been punched away. Allen coming at the meter was Michael Robb. Here's Dela Cruz, well tackled by Wisby to Michael Robb. Snaps the ball back inside. 50. Dom Dare split the pack with Theodore. Seals lurking. Morali is lurking. Theodore mops up here for the Cats. Hand pass looking for Stephen Cassett. Everything has just gone wrong since quarter time for the Culligan mm. Fields. They can do nothing right. We'll get a boundary throw in here. The 23 year Premiership drought is about to end for the LB Football Netball Club. They last played on the Grand Inns in, in 2005 and they're going to win their 13th flag in their 22nd grand final appearance. Boundary throw in. Stevens to tap. Arnold roves it. Thumps to kick up to the line towards centre wing. But like they've oh. done all day, Parker, that's nearly 50, I reckon. Numpire said none of it. Should have been 50. Should have been 50. That's what the was bought in for. <laughs> that's right. Parker goes short and finds Will Jacobs. He's going to win another premiership. Like he's done at times at Warnable and then Barwon heads kick towards the 50. 
as well punched away by Theodore. Well, we'll get a boundary wherever he goes to win premierships, I tell you what, if you're the Western Eagles the right way, that'll be the first yeah, one you'll be <laughs> trying to get on your, your be, list for 2024, yeah, eh? Yeah, I reckon yeah. so. So, boundary throw in the take place. 18 and a half minutes final term. I don't think there'll be a lot of time on. It's Elvie's premiership this year in 2023 after being becoming so close for so long. And they get the opportunity to do so. Boundary throwing inside the Ford 50 for the Swans. Levi there wins the tap out. It goes forward. Chancy now through Tannis. He's tackled. And it'll be a nope. uh, nut. Nah, ball's come loose. Here's a chance now. Vale's lurking. Here's Rob this way, that way. Oh. And even further. Has a fly shot for goal. Goes to the top of the goal square. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Umpire says play on. Danny Allen's there as well. Oh, the there is a free kick and it's going to go to the Colac Imperials. Throw. Throw, says the umpire. O'Shaughnessy's kick finds Aussie Arnold. About to tick into red time here. Grand final day of 2023. Chancy now for Gardner. Gardner now kicks a high one. Centre half forward. Spence is underneath this one. Couldn't take the mark. Trying to gather at the former Swan. Here's Jeremy oh. Stokes. Trying to do his Ronaldo skills. Oh, no. That was a cheeky play to Dela Cruz. Got it to Lynch. Got it to Permazel. What's his name, Drewy? Permazel. Permazel. He's kicked out of bounds on the ball, it. though. He stuffed it up. Oh, the party trick there from Sammy Parker. Yeah, everyone's going through oh, the motions the now. That was uh, is again. Price. Got it over the top at Felikos. Pam's boy takes a class over centre mark of the day as we enter the 20th minute of this KFC Colac last quarter. Kick now to centre half or to centre win. Chance now for Tannis. Tannis has a cheeky bounce. Been a wonderful recruit for the Imps this year. Oh, Kick shot oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. by Dean for Lee Cost. Give him the Class best on. Class over centre mark of the day, Drew. I tell you what, if he doesn't get the best on ground, it'll be the biggest robbery yeah. in history. Oh, I'll be t- telling the umpires about it. They pick the best on the That's Peter true. Featherston medal. And Jacobs now, out of the defensive 50 for the Elvi, sends it the centre-half forward. Theodore couldn't take it, gathers the football this way, that way. He kicks now to centre-half forward, looking for O'Shaughnessy. It's going to beat him. It's going to be a boundary throwing between centre-win and half-forward. 21 minutes gone in this KSC Colac 2023 Premiership final quarter. And... It's going to be party time at Red Rock, I can tell you that. They'll party for the next six months, I would have thought. Pete Mulheron's already in line to get the premiership <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> Stewie Ball's also in his second in line, and then Jimmy Allen, I reckon, his third. And Levi there just got the ball, Falcon on his ball head will be fourth. Got it over the top to Vale. Vale sends it inside the Ford 50. Looking for oh. Tom there. Couldn't take it. Here's a chance now through Carl. Carl now kicks out a defensive 50 for the Colac Imperials. De Lorenzo, he's one that deserves a premiership. Absolutely. Andre, he's trying to pick up the football. That was clever play. Right. Comes out to Vale. Comes out to Mulder. Mulder kicks the centre half forward. Looking for Rob. Couldn't take the football with him. He's going to get the free kick, I think. Him's white. And oh, I thought I wanted to go on for uh, to Rob comes out to mm. Arnold, got it to Tennis. Tennis across halfback, switches, looking for a teammate there. Miraculous got a field day bigger than Pete Mulheron's paddocks. Bigger one that deserves <laughs> dryer a anyway. Yep, kicks, switches. Jacobs has got it in the back fifty. They're just going to hold on to this footy now. They're going to save it every moment of this. Parker's got the football. Twenty-two minutes gone. Surely the siren goes soon. Twenty-two point leaders. 23-year premiership drought. You'd reckon just one more point to add to that value would be great for him. O'Shaughnessy goes in short. McCann's got the football. He looks the field. He plays on Stewie McCann. Worked his guts out for the Imps. Kicks inside the Ford 50. Big pack around this one. Here's a chance by Rosevier. Got the hand pass over top to DeLorenzo. DeLorenzo kicks the centre win. And he finds a teammate in Patch. Patch plays on. He puts the ball now to centre half forward for the Swans. Couldn't take the mark there. Was Seal. It's going to come out to Dom there. Oh. The centurion goal kicker this year. Back to Seal. Right forward pocket. Oh, he no. swings a behind. And AJ's cracked it. <laughs> but they lead by 23 points in their 23-year... Oh, Premiership drought. In that fitting. How is that for fitting? No one score. Yeah, blow the siren. Tannis kicks short, finds Kale. Tommy Kale, he's been pretty good today as oh, well. He's been almost him's best player, I reckon. Yeah, he's well, close to it. Kale now kicks out a defensive 50, finds a teammate there, Sammy Lucas. Wonderful story to get back to playing this final series, Sammy Lucas. Yeah. He goes in short, finds Keegan, back to Sammy Lucas. 
Lucas drives the ball from half back to center win. Brody Stevens has got the footy for the Colac Imperials. He's going to go inbound, looking for Kale. Couldn't, oh no, he does take the mark. Class over center mark of the day in front of Mulder. He plays on now. There's Kale. He goes inbound, looking for Arnold. Couldn't take the mark. Jenkins oh. lurking as well. He seems to be good now. Hand pass yeah, looking Mulder for Felikos. Felikos now. He's given AJ Brady a sore hand with all those stats he's put on the Stevcom stat sheets. Lucas goes inbound, finds Tannis. Been a pretty good recruit for the Imperials this year. His kick finds O'Shaughnessy. Gee, this is the longest uh, few Two minutes. minutes. <laughs> long time. Yeah, one minute to go. O'Shaughnessy looking for the teammate. Here's a chance now for Jacobs to fail. Fail hand passes over the top to Micah Ross. Oh, he's got, got it over the top to Rosevier. Goes by the barrel. Puts it inside the Ford 50. Tom there couldn't take the mark. Ball comes off hands. It was Theodore, overruns the ball. Chance there for Danny Allen. Got it to seal. Right forward pocket. Has a shot for goal and yeah. misses the lot. And a boundary throw in. It's a deliberate max. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wilbur Kerr would have paid it. It's a 23-point lead in favour of the Swans. 24 and a half minutes gone in this KFC call. Like 2023. City of Fennell, grand yeah. final decider. They know, they know. Now every place, I think that's just starting to realise it now. They're up and about, Joe Dares. High-fiving everyone. He's sitting on the bench, isn't he? Here's <laughs> a chance now. Shot for goal for Rob. Oh! Takes and, the mark. And fittingly, the Centurion goal kick is going to have the last shot of the game. His kick came in this year. with oh, He's kicked 113 goals coming into this grand final. He's kicked two. For 115 goals. Can it be 116? And a premiership medal for Tom there. There yeah, it the is. Song. They've dared to dream today. The LV Footy Club. A 23-year premiership drought is done. Tom there kicks a goal oh. to finish it off. And LV are the 2023 CDFNL Premiers. Yeah. Well run to the Swans. It's party time at Red Rock. Yeah, barely deserved. Well called, Maxi. 23-year dr- premiership drought, and fittingly, the Centurion goal kicker has the final say on the 2023 grand final, and fairly deserved to tw- the end. The first flag since 2000. It wasn't the prettiest of grand finals, but they will not care less. The Albi Football Nepal Club, as Jay Dow and Paul Wistrow said, their c- congratulations and commiserations as well. They were the best side all year, and they fairly deserve this premiership today in what was a 29-point win, 8-9-57 to 4-4-28. Dom there fittingly, as I said, ends the game and ends the premiership draft for the Swans. People, Heron, as an LB month, no, you're ready. <laughs> How do you feel? You got oh, look at, coming down here. All right there, no, mate. no, I'm all good here. Uh, no, look, it, it was a great victory, and you really feel for the stalwarts of the club, your Boswell Parkers and Peter Williamsons and, and people like that that With have Davey waited. Hayes. Yeah, that have waited a long, long time, and Luke McLennan, who's worked hard behind the scenes to get the reward, and, of course, Joe Dare uh, returning to the club and um, delivering... Premiership that he, he he actually promised when he got there. He said that he would deliver a premiership for LVN. Because it was a controversial move at the time, didn't they? Like even yeah. uh, the, the Liam McGuan and Josh Goonan scenario to to um, Dan Casey, and then you yeah. know they got uh, Joe on the aspect of you know getting his brothers back to the club. It was a ballsy move, and they always seemed to do it at the back end of the year when they were fighting for finals, but. It's definitely paid off. Yeah, probably Liam McGuan's the one that you, you feel sorry for that missed out. He put in a lot of years um, at, at the LV Footy Club and probably deserved to be a part of this, but unfortunately injuries have um, curtailed his career, but I'm sure he'll be enjoying uh, this day today as well, as much as the rest of them. But, um, yeah, it was just uh, it was Elvis defence, really, in the end, that um, won it. They shut down those small, dangerous forwards of Imps really impressively, didn't they? The, yeah. The Moulders and uh, um, those, uh, Sammy Parker and, and those, the unheralded players that uh, really closed down those dangerous forwards. And uh, once Cullen Spence uh, uh, was curtailed by Lockie Rosevier, they really had no avenue to goal, and we've seen them kick kicked the first three goals of the match and only one afterwards and that was probably one of those goals that um, a bit of a Joe the Goose over the top yeah. but they really gave it a little bit of spark didn't it they did. like they yeah. were only 15 points well, they got the next one they would have put a lot of pressure yeah. on yeah well well Elvis Fordland wasn't able to um, 
put a win, uh, a margin in yeah, there when, right. when when they were in control of the game. That was uh, probably the only disappointment for them that they uh, didn't put the game out of reach a little bit earlier than what was. But I thought the uh, Imperials backline was. You know, led by um, Tommy Cale was uh, uh, really outstanding as well. But I like the fact that Paul Listro tried something different. Yeah. He didn't just uh, say, well, um, our best player's out or one of our best players is missing, so uh, we're done and dusted. He threw the magnets around and, and he wasn't going to get beaten three times in a row by the same method. Yeah. So he made uh, Elby work for it and it really... I thought it um, unsettled Elvie in that first 10 minutes. Did, so, did it? Yeah. yeah. And, I like um, what's going on here. Yeah, that's right. So it created a little bit of doubt there, but unfortunately they weren't able to continue it on, on where's, with it. Yeah. Where's Big H? Where can we find you, mate? What are you doing? I'm, I'm just down at the Elvie Huddle now, boys, and um, yeah, impressive win today, wasn't it? Hard to find a bad player for them. You know, they had a couple of guys miss out on a game that probably would have played in any other side. Oh, we've lost um, Oh, there we go. Back. Sorry about that, boys. Something's You're going up. on here. That's all right. We've got you, PH. You're, just, you're going to be in and out right you through this post-game. Yeah, gotcha. It's okay, hey, mate. It's all yours, mate. It's your time to shine. <laughs> uh, let them celebrate. We'll get back to Big H later. But, uh, Drewy, that was a pretty good game of footy. Yeah, it was. It was Oh, swirling. he's got the song. Oh. Twenty-three years of waiting, and they finally deserve this one. They've been, they were, of course, they were knocked out in straight sets last year, yep. fitting, uh, sitting on top all season. And today, they thoroughly deserve this one, people, Heron, because yep. there was a few question marks coming into this uh, final series with Elvi and Infando, and those questions the last two games yep. have been answered in the most emphatic fashion. Look, after the way they faltered last year, going out in straight sets. Uh, it didn't matter what they'd done during the year. It was when we, we, we were all looking forward to seeing them on the big yeah. ground and how they cope with it because we felt when the finals uh, came around last year that they lacked a little bit of leg speed. Um, but they certainly addressed that, like Michael Robb, um, young blokes like that, the Moulders, as I've mentioned before, um, that really added that bit of pace around um, for them. It was, um, it was also... You know, they had this prime attack last year. Dom Dare, yes. Oscar Barter, Cullen Spence. They lose 100 goals out of that forward line from last year. But they it's, gave it a couple of handy ones. Well, that's it. And I think just putting smaller forwards, like Patchy yep. was back in that side after playing in defence and Seal. And Paddy Seal. And it's just the little change up. It allowed Dom Dare to dominate yeah. more than what he normally was. Like, he was still the leading goal yeah. last year. But... Yeah, it just opened them up a bit and made them actually probably attack a bit more and got their midfielders a bit more faster. And, you know, he walked into the season, and I was a little bit... Like, I jokingly did put them outside the top five just to stir things up. But in reality, I sort of knew they'll be they'll be OK. But I wasn't sure... Just wasn't sure about them after last year. And after round one, they came here at Irrawarra Berk. I'm like, nah, these guys are on a mission. Yeah. They are on a mission. And they had a couple of stuff-ups. Good Friday, they got over and probably didn't care. And then that Irrawarra Bear game, I think, just got them, sharpened yeah. them up a bit. Mitch Thornton and Irrawarra Bear came from the clouds to win in that last term from nowhere. Um, and then from there on, they really didn't put a foot wrong, did they, throughout no. the season? And yeah. I think the uh, the pickup of Seal and Falikos experience. Yeah. But, you know, they're older players, but they've both still got pace. Yeah. And uh, Felico started off in in the midfield at the yeah. start of the year, and Joe put him back across half back, and gee, he just blossomed back there, didn't he? He, yeah. he really controlled the game, and we've seen that again today. And it'll be interesting to see who gets best on ground. Yeah. Goal kick, goal kick is in this grand final. Dom Dev finished with three, two goals to lead. Did you kick that last goal, didn't you? Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did, he did. Yeah, he did. He didn't look great off the boot, no, did he? Didn't. Two no. goals to Lincoln Dare and singles to Paddy Seal, Harry Carmody and Dean Valik, uh, Valikos. While for the Colic Imperials, Callan Spence finished with two in the first quarter. Singles to Stewie McCann and Jet Price. So as Elvie and the Colic Imperials are just waiting for the presentations to... to Where's Big H? Where can we find him? We got your big H. Yeah, I can see from here, and I think uh, lost in the crowd. I think we might. Well, there's the Premiership Cup yeah. floating past for the netballers. Yep. 
<laughs> Courtney Garner Courtney fittingly Garner. as well. I've just lost yeah. my mic for the presentation, boys. So, that's uh, right, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we might go down to the presentations now. I think it's going to be... It's not Lippy doing this, is it? No, it's be a real... Thomas. It would be a real you... sulk if it was Lippy doing yeah. this. Well, cross down to Ed Thomas now. All right, ladies and gentlemen... Can you please join me in congratulating both sides for a fantastic game of football today? I'd like to introduce Barry Parker to present the medals to uh, Craig Kerr on behalf of the umpires. So the great Boswell Parker. The umpire today the was club. nothing short of exceptional today. You got the Alvi stats all ready to go, AJ? Oh, yeah, so we'll, get, we'll, oh, well. get, we'll get the Stevcom stats man to read out the stats of each Alvi player when they come up from the podium. Sounds good. Now, who do we think for best on ground, boys? Oh, it's got to be. T- it's either Dean Fleek or Saliva, I Yeah. yeah. Well, either or Lincoln. If not, I'm going to... Could I now yeah. please invite... Paul is straight up to say a few words. I thought uh, Levi was really the yeah, what, yeah. cracking what, early. What an yeah. outstanding job Paul Listro's done throughout yeah. the course of the year. Ted Lasso. Because signing off for 2024. And they stick together and, yeah. and they'll get the result of it. Yeah, I they're think, they're, the I think they'll be up there. I think they're going to be the sides of beat along they're with probably, the They year. probably do need a big Ruckman, don't they, to definitely, win this premiership. Definitely. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mark Blake, if you're listening. Uh, just firstly, um, <laughs> to congratulations to Joe and all the Albie boys. Um, said it a few times now, you've, you've probably been the best side in the comp for four years and if it wasn't for COVID, I think you probably would have had a few more of these. So uh, congratulations again on a, an absolutely unbelievable game. You guys structured up really well, you executed really well and you thoroughly deserve it completely outplayed us today. So really well done and enjoy the next few nights, boys. You deserve it. Well done. Um, Still class to, Paul Wistro, isn't he? Just want to say uh, yeah. thanks to Jim in the league. Um, we have a very, very special footy community up here. Um, for a small town to um, host a, a league like we do here um, and the quality it is and, and how well it's run, it's having a final like this with the numbers that are here, it's a, it's a testament to the to the board and all the work they do behind the scenes. So thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, again, to the umpires as well, uh, really well done again today. Uh, you're probably the most important part of our game and uh, congratulations on getting through to the grand final and um, for, you des- absolutely deserve it as well. So thank you again to you guys as well. Fantastic. Um, and lastly, to, to our guys, this is just the first step for us, I think. Um, sometimes you've got to lose one to win one and for us, we're an incredibly young group and I know we're going to bounce back from this like we have every time we've been challenged. I- I'm incredibly proud of you guys. I love coaching you guys and I think we've got a big couple of years ahead of us. So just the first step, um, I'm really proud of the effort you guys did. So um, thank you again for allowing me to coach you guys and I'm really looking forward to the next couple of years. So well done and again, well done to Alvi. Thank you. He, he marked a dynasty before even a dynasty starts there, Paul Wistro. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, nah, he's right. He's, they have yeah. got... A big, serious couple of years, I reckon, ahead yeah. of them. If this group remains together, they, a, as I said, a sneaky ruckman needs to come yeah. down and just help them out. Good, to, them up, good to see a good credit there from a lot of uh, clubs. Can yeah. I please invite Tony Walker to present oh. the medal to the player, judge best on ground? Speaking of good players, wasn't he, medal. wasn't he a ripper of a player on ground oh, Friday? No. Tony winner Walker. from LV, Sam Vale. Sam Vale. Sam Vale. Oh. Oh. Do you want me to give you his stats? Yeah, yeah, stats boys, so smoking. 14 kicks, 10 handballs, one mark, Mate. 24 yeah, disposals. No, he, was he was important. I reckon he mucked up the bald headed. No. no. I reckon he no, was. I, I thought he, he played a really big third oh, quarter. He, he was right in the game too, Sammy Vale. Yeah. So. It's had to be one of the guys with the fresh cat. Yeah, yeah, let's hear from uh, him. And thanks to Colac for the, the game. Well played. He had a great season. Um, to our guys, fantastic effort. Put in all the uh, all the work over the year and I think thoroughly enjoy it. In, deserve it. Um Alvi supporters, thank you. Great community. Enjoy the next couple of days. Been a ripper, hasn't he? Oh, I still reckon Team Flakos has been <laughs> robbed. Oh. There's going to be an inquiry on Monday over this. Well, I think Start like the position now. Yeah. Yeah. Just give him the East Hotel. <laughs> so um, starting off, number two from Alvi, Dean Felikas. He was unbelievable, AJ. 17 kicks, six handballs, eight marks, Drew. Yeah, he, he kicked the... Ver- kicked the I think Beat his game, too. Yeah. Like, he ran the ball. Used well. the ball well. Number three, Will Jacobs. So good luck, Charm. Nine kicks, yes. ten handballs, and eight marks. Can we beat? get him to Geelong? He's going to be on our rookie number list. Number four, Lockie Mulder. Finished with 16 kicks, four handballs and two marks. Good day for Lockie. Oh, he's had a great couple of years, hasn't he, Lockie? 
Number seven, Luke Maraglia. Hi to his parents in Italy. Yeah. Five kicks, nine handballs, three marks. Pete? Sorry you weren't here, Frank, but I'm sure you're enjoying Number things in eight, Italy. Yes, Harry Carmody. He played a good game. Yeah. Four kicks, eight handballs, no marks in the end, but a great game yeah. for Harry. He's yeah. perceived his pressure. He's got a great, great future. Number 10, ahead of him. Yeah. Micah Robb. Oh, he's a beauty. Yeah, he's he's a kid. Kid. Yeah. 11 Story kicks, of the, uh... seven handballs, and six marks. He's a great young player. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I hope to see him play at high level, though. He's only 18. Yeah. Number yeah, 12. Andrew De Lorenzo. Andre, well five, deserved. Five kicks, two handballs, three marks. A great stalwart of this club. De Lorenzo, guns, you're built in. How many guns did he play, Pete? Uh, Number 14, two, 20 Patrick odd, I think. Seal. Paddy Seal. 13 kicks, eight handballs, five marks. Great day from Paddy Seal. Real barometer for this yep. club. Number 15, Samuel Parker. Yeah, a great player. Yeah. 12 kicks, four handballs, four marks. A general down in defence team. Spent a bit of time in the reserves, but Number he, uh, he worked his way in. Number 17, Ben Lynch. Jenny Didn't miss Lynch. a game this yeah. year either. The king of the handballs, boys. Seven kicks, 13 handballs, and a couple of marks. Always big on the handball so stats. Yeah. Number club 18, won it last year. Christopher Patch. Four, what? Not bad for yeah. a bike here. We're feeling about retire a bit here. Four kicks, four handballs, three marks. Great effort from Chris. Oh, what a yeah. Number 19, Clay Jenkins. Five kicks, three yeah. handballs, four marks. A great defensive He was player. very important early. To, yep, um, today too. Number 20, Levi Dare. Oh, yeah, what a player. 16 kicks, 9 handballs, 5 marks and 45 hit outs. 45. Beat by 45. Hit outs. Where are we? Number 21, Daniel Allen. What a game yeah. from Danny Allen. 13 yeah. kicks, 16 handballs and 7 oh. marks. The son of the legendary Jim. He's yeah. a great yeah. player. The yeah. first 40 minutes he was really he was real, tops. wasn't he? When the whips Number were 28, Andrick Dela Cruz. Yeah, Andrich, four kicks, 13 handballs and one mark. A great little handball player. He's not much of him, but G cracks in hard. Can have 100 games Number in the 30, CFNL too. Lincoln Dare. Oh, what a player. Oh, 16 Link. kicks, six handballs and eight marks. 22 disposals for Lincoln. And he's plus Lincoln. Seven, a plus beautiful, seven hit outs. Beautiful candy sell against Jack Skinner. Yeah, oh, that's ripper. Goal Number of the day. Yes, definitely. Liam Mulder. What a story yeah, this year is. Four kicks, six handballs and a couple of marks for Liam. He was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis as a young child. Number 38, so Sam Mulder. Marnie. Great to see you, but Sam Barney too. He, he, harder than a cat's head. Fire, didn't yeah, he? harder than a cat's head. Nine yeah, kicks, eight handballs, Takes three marks. Takes after his grandfather, Pete Williamson. Samuel Vale. Fourteen kicks, ten handballs, one mark. As I mentioned earlier, our Peter Featherston medal winner Gee, today. Sammy Marnie's first season. quarter. Number 47, Ripper. Angus yeah. Permazel. Oh, what's his name, Drew? Permazel. <laughs> Five kicks, two handballs, two marks. A great defender for the Albies. I've got it right this time. Uh, yeah. And he stuck Corey around. Captain, uh, number 26, after Dominic from Dare. Yeah, Dom Fish with four kicks, yeah. two handballs, one mark. Didn't have a big three double Steph Com stat sheet, but yeah, three important goals. What a year. He's and and six goals. The other co-captain, Lockie Rosevere. Oh, well, that's a great Lockie. man. 12 kicks, five handballs, no marks. And, of course, a lot of those kicks were big bangs out of defence. Yeah, they boys. were. Oh, we'll and uh, Junior as and well. And finally, I'd like to welcome up the coach, Joe Dare. What a uh, well! Congratulations, Joey. Yeah, he's going to go out in the best way possible. Someone's phone's going <laughs> off in the box. <laughs> he's fine, don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. Is it the Jareds or the now, let's, hear from, let's hear from uh, Coach Joe Dare, the Premiership coach. Um, yeah, first of all, um, well done to Imps, Paul, and 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 the and the boys. Um, Really, really competitive side and, and play in great spirits. And you, I thought you just had an enormous crack at the start and really and um, really made a game of it. And really proud of our boys, but um, you guys should be equally as proud for, of your guys. And, and your club seems to be on a on a great trajectory too. So congratulations to you guys and good luck for the future. Um, look, couldn't be more proud of um, our group and. Um, probably get sick of saying it, but they've worked extremely hard for, you know, four or five years, but particularly the last three months. So there's 22 blokes here that thoroughly deserve this and, and a Albi um, supporter group that deserve it just as much. So congratulations. Enjoy the next couple of days. And um, I think footy was a big winner today. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, that was my tip. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, I was right. Boy, great great, boy, great, great yeah, I was right. There yeah. is some big news in the GFL. We'll get to that in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 Premier's Albi Football Club. And they're going to lift this cup. It's Joe Dare. Along with Dean Velikos, Lockie Rosevere, Dom Dare, and up it goes. The 23 year drought is over. And as the Carlick Imperials leave the playing arena for the last time this year. And I think Joe Dare summed it up perfectly there. They could, should keep their heads up high from this year. They've come such a long way in the last four or five years. And I think we're going to we'll see them again more than likely, hopefully, this time next year. But as it, we'll take a break here.
Alvi, your premiers in 2023, back with the post-match festivities. And, of course, a big result in the GFL just happened. Back with the East Hotel post-game show for the final time after the break. On Mix FM, this is CDFNL Live. Weekday mornings from 6, it's Mix Brecky. So as a premiership coach yourself in basketball, what advice have you got for the players that are listening what? that are going to take into the field and courts for the grand final this weekend? Well, as well as kept, I did mention to you, the... You kept that under wraps, didn't you? It is very quiet. Yeah. Uh, my eldest played his basketball grand final yesterday and we won, which was uh, fantastic. So being the coach of the team, I think the best advice is listen to your coach because they... Uh... <laughs> Mix Brecky for McDonald's Colac and Snap Fitness Colac. Mix FM. Mix FM. Reese Evans. Get harvest ready with Reese Evans. Right now, there's customer instant rebates of up to $900 on the Crone Tedder range. Reese Evans, the Mix FM business of the month. Upgrade your property with West Vic Garage Doors, your trusted roller door experts. Say goodbye to outdated squeaky doors and hello to style and security. Did you know if you have a pre-existing garage door, you can have it serviced every 12 months to maintain your warranty. Get in touch with the team at West Vic Sheds to make an appointment. West Vic Garage Doors, based at West Vic Sheds and Garages, Princes Highway, Colac West. Check them out on Facebook today. The East Hotel is looking for casual front-of-house staff. Work short evening shifts or lunches in a friendly environment, delivering service to all patrons. Plus, a meal is provided on shift. To apply, chat to manager Ashley or email easthotelcolac at hotmail.com. Looking for homewares? Then look no further than Parlour's Home Hardware of Simpson. They've got sunbeam appliances on the shelf, like toasters, kettles and fans, plus frying pans, patio heaters, even Weber Q barbecues and Kunara heaters. Parlour's Home Hardware, Barrymore Street, Simpson. Australian Land Colac, Colac's largest employer, processes product that is exported to over 70 countries worldwide. ALC hold their dedicated workforce in high regard with set shifts, which means no rotating rosters, on-the-job training and certificate training provided. Contact recruitment at alcolac.com.au to discover your next career opportunity. Australian Lamb Colac, a world-class lamb and mutton processing facility, delivering a world-class product. Product. Your call is important. Yeah, yeah. Your call is important. Oh. Your call is important. Oh, shut up. Wait. KFC are doing 24 nuggets for just 10.95. Shut up and take my money. Not everywhere, enough forever. Pick up early. What to Tom Cruise? Buzz Lightyear and a world full of dinosaurs have in common? The Colac Cinemas. Keep up to date with session times and all the big releases that are coming soon on the Colac Cinemas Facebook page. IP, VOIP, VPN, SIP, NBN, CCTV. What does it all mean? Stevcom knows. They'll break down the jargon so your business gets the benefits of the latest technology. Call Stevcom today. They come to you. From Longford to Longreach, from Berry to Burke, Combank is committed to supporting regional Australia. Because our teams are proud locals too, who understand the importance of serving our community, be it local industry knowledge or flexible financial support when times are tough. Right through to recognising local organisations with our community grants and donation program. To learn more about our three-year branch commitment, search Combank Regional Support. Opportunity, growth and stability. That's what AKD gives locals a chance for a fresh start at a leading local organisation. Offering four-day working weeks between Monday and Friday, a shift pattern that may suit your lifestyle and the ability to progress your career. AKD has a range of different options available, including machine operators, forklift drivers, truck drivers and more. So why not set yourself up with a position at Australia's largest sawmill business, AKD. For more info, visit akd.com.au. Powered by KFC Colac, AKD Softwoods, Sports Power and Kelly Civil Construction. This is CDFNL Live. Elvi are the 2023 Premiers in the senior football. What has been a great day here. They won by 29 points, 8 9 57 to the Colac Imperials, 4 4 28. Sammy Bar was the Pete Theverson medal was for the best on ground. We might chuck it down to you, Big H. You were one of the co-captains. Lockie Rosevier. Yeah, Rosie, um, obviously, you know, probably four or five years in the making this since Joe come to the club. Been pretty unlucky through the COVID years, but uh, tell us how special this is, mate. Oh, mate, this is huge. Um, an 